Greetings. Welcome to Handelabra Live. The boops are back and they're not going out of style. I am Micro P. I am a developer at uh, Handelabra, the lead developer. I am the king and I make games such as the one you see behind me. Uh, I would like to say cheers from home. Welcome to Tuesday night. It is a solo stream for me tonight. Um, but uh, as you can see, you may have heard, uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game, is free for a limited time on Google Play and the iOS App Store and Amazon. So uh, if you are interested in Sentinels and you haven't played it before, or if you know someone, anyone in your life who's interested, uh, let them know. And it's available today tomorrow and Thursday for free, uh, I believe, uh, 16th through the 18th. Free! Uh, yeah, so um, happy to be on here tonight. I uh, would like to remind everyone that uh, Hand Labra believes in civil rights for everyone and intolerance will not be tolerated. Black lives matter, trans rights matter. Uh, we are, you know, here for you and we want to uh, be excellent to each other. So we're gonna be playing some Sentinels tonight. Uh, we're gonna be heroes. Uh, we're gonna be dorks and nerds as well, uh, as you'll see in a second, because uh, before we actually play that, we're gonna play something else. We're gonna play a spreadsheet. What? <laughs> so I had an idea about uh, was I was talking to some other players of, of the game about like uh, it might have been Lou Dolphin I can't remember um, spreadsheets of the multiverse just like how well I know the core game uh, and earlier decks in Sentinels compared to uh, the new decks. I'm going to just move the chat up. Let me go chat. Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Have room to breathe here on the spreadsheet. Uh, I want to play a game where I time myself and um, have to basically write down everything in a deck. A hero deck or a villain deck or an environment deck but we'll start with the hero deck because that seems like a good start from the core game to start with and see how i do compared to what it really is in like five minutes i i have not tried this because i want to like you know have it be fresh and i haven't like reviewed anything or anything like that so this is going to be just straight up and you can play along at home if you want just make a little sheet uh like this and if you want we can discuss if the scoring makes sense so what I have here is, uh, if I can get the card title, uh, the keywords, and the body. The body doesn't even be like exact, exact, If it, but we'll get into that. So scoring, you gotta have the title right, you gotta have the keywords right. Uh, maybe potentially half points for these, but probably not, like they gotta be right. Uh, the body score could be a little more, I said two points for the body for each card. Um, basically, if. It doesn't need to be worded exactly, but if it gets all the effects, that's two points. Uh, if it's like correct, it means the same thing. Uh, if it gets, you know, and then sort of a range of like, is it totally wrong? Zero. Lakey Zero Zero, uh, I'm doing a memory game of trying to remember exactly what is in a hero deck. So, um, actually, yeah, so this could be good. We can go into the multiverse. Oh, but that the heroes don't have songs, but. Uh, we can go to the multiverse uh, and play the rip music if we want, but uh, yeah, stupid human tricks with me. So, does that make sense to everyone? Do you think like it makes sense to add more? I could add like the number of copies of each card. I didn't feel like that was that important. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the chat to vote on which deck Seamus Butler. So, um, let's start with this, and I think five minutes, and. We'll see. I didn't actually put a timer on the screen because I was like, five minutes is too short. We can 
We can try 10 minutes and see. Um, I want to put a timer on the screen. Uh, let me get a timer. Does OBS have a timer? Is that a thing you can add? Uh, no. Uh, I'm sure I could get an alarm clock app from the App Store in like a second, right? Do, do, do. If you have any more thoughts about the game, uh, let me know what you think while I'm doing this. Stay focused. I want like a timer that's on the screen. Red hot timer. Countdown timer plus. The timer that howls. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> the howler timer. I've seen people put have like countdowns for things, but there's probably like a web page or something they're using for that. Speed run timer, yeah. But I want like a countdown that like then rings, so. Flavor text, potentially, yeah, Kusunoki, that's something that we could potentially have extra credit for. I, I mean, I got a rating pop up for this thing and I haven't even used it yet. All right, let's test this thing. Let me uh, go away. Let me add a capture. Uh, of the timer. Howler timer. Howler. That's the one. All right, so let's say, let's put five seconds. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm into it. Uh, is it like beeping at every second or something like that? Because I definitely don't want that. Countdown, crows. Yeah, no, don't turn that part off. None. So press countdown. Yeah. No, I don't want crows at every second. There we go. So we get the howl. <laughs> is that really loud? <laughs> if it is, I'm sorry. So Lou Dolphin thinks five minutes is too short. Uh, let's go 10 minutes, and I guess I could get bonus points if I'm finished early, right? Or I'll just, like, sleep at my desk, like in high school exams. Uh, alright, I need this timer where I can see it. Oh, it might be at the final seconds, not every second. I can see it, though. Um, and I'm definitely, I'm gonna minimize the chat so I can't see in my... Spreadsheet's gonna be over top of OBS, so I can't see that, and I'm not going to be able to, I'm gonna minimize the chat so you can't spoil me. Um, cool, so now let's, uh, so that's the rules of the game. Basically, I'm going to enter into this sheet all of the cards um, from a hero deck. Uh, the title, keywords, uh, if I have like, other stuff I want to write down, notes or whatever, potentially. Um, can do that, but um, basically those three things and we'll see what happens and then we'll, we'll figure it out. So we'll try this and then we'll maybe do it a couple more times this stream uh, and narrow it down. It's just an idea, so we'll see, see how it is. And feel free to play along at home uh, when we get started. So, uh, so let's vote in the chat, uh, which hero from the core game would you like me to do this with. Um, yeah, we, no, we don't need, I'll just minimize the chat. No, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, so the first hero with three votes, I will do that one. Got to vote for Legacy, for Tachyon, Wraith, the Freedom Five represent. I got a bit inspired by this from uh, GeoWizard doing Sporkle quizzes, uh, which is surprisingly interesting to watch. 
Uh, visionary setback doesn't work for Suke. We need the core game. Do we have moderators? I guess sort of. We have. We just don't really do it very much. Two votes for Visionary, two votes for Legacy. Arizona? <laughs> Are we gonna get a tiebreaker? Kosuke can tiebreak. That's true. That's the like sword icon, right? Moderator, right? Also, thanks, Lude, for subscribing for 16 months. I mean, you're no um, Leo9981 or anything, but. Uh, <laughs> visionary, okay. You're making not making it easy, probably, but I think I can do visionary. All right, so I'm going to minimize the chat, and I'm going to press start. So if you want to play at home, you can play at home, and we can compare notes uh, at the end. So here I go, minimizing and starting the timer and doing the vision. Actually, I'll put in here. Can I rename this? Yeah, the visionary. Emote only. Oh, look at that. Lou Dolphin, you're smart. Okay. All right, it's it's doing stuff for me. I got a gift. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't need to, to do that. You can you can. I'll minimize the chat so you can actually talk uh, talk about it and, and roast me while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna minimize now and start the timer, and we're gonna do the visionary. Here we go. All right, brain burn. That's what this is. It's a brain burn. That's a one shot. Uh, put the villain trash at the bottom of the villain deck. Visionary heals herself. I need to not. I need this in shorthead. X damage, where X is the number of cards moved. Okay. Uh, we've got. Uh, Oh man, <laughs> now it's like, <sighs> we're not doing character cards or anything like that. Um, we're doing deal one target, three damage, mind spike. One shot. Uh, we've got cerebral hemorrhage. I'm not gonna worry about spelling things right. Uh, deal uh, three targets, two damage. Um, we've got Mental Divergence ongoing, limited I think, uh, power, uh, destroy an ongoing card, or move an ongoing card from a hero trash to top of deck. Uh, alright, decoy projection, uh, projection, limited. Uh, Redirect damage to visionary, and it's like all damage. And I didn't think about it, but it says 5 HP. Uh, that'll come up with unity, I guess, but... Uh, we have... Um, prophetic vision. One shot. Reveal three cards. Environment deck. Put one on top. Two on top? Yeah, one on top, two on bottom. Uh, then we've got, what's the villain one? Oh man, my mind is emptying. This is terrible. Uh, there's the other one shot that deals, deal all non-hero targets. Three da two damage, it's a one shot. I can get partial marks for anything, even if I do it this way. Uh, there is a uh, Teleconnect Cocoon, uh, Ongoing Limited, Visionary Immune to Damage, uh, Cannot Play or Use Powers, um, Start of Turn May Destroy. Uh, there is, oh, of course, other. I need to like focus on ongoings or rest of ongoing. Rest of them ongoing. <laughs> uh good. Uh, play next to non-character target. 
when deals damage may redirect if you do uh, deal that target three damage three psychic damage I, the damage type I'm not gonna worry about right except for like where it matters that's a zero deal self three damage if target leaves play destroy this uh, we can debate that after uh, twist the ether Ongoing, not limited. Uh, play next to non-character target. Actually, any target. Target, uh, when deals damage, change, may change type. And increase or decrease by one. When target leaves play, destroy this. I, I hate not being able to see the chat. <laughs> Uh, there is, uh, her ongoing, that is power, reveal, top three cards of deck, put one in hand, one on top, one on bottom. Uh, there is... What else? We have the start of turn damage. Start of turn, deal one damage to all villain targets. Ongoing limited. Man, I can't remember card titles for Visionary for some reason. I need to like visualize it. Um, there's, I mean, there's literally this card, but for the villain. And I don't know why I can't remember it. Uh, one shot. Um, there's... Alright, what am I missing? Uh, I'm certainly missing some things, aren't I? I mean, maybe not. This is where it gets... tricky. Uh, oh yeah, the... Mass levitation. The cards I don't use very much. Ongoing. Limited? It might not be limited. Uh, power. Reduce damage dealt by environment cards by three. Uh, that might be all her cards. Uh, yeah, also doing like count of cards would help because I would like be able to sum them up and see if they count up to 40, but uh, just like thinking of the artwork of the cards, but I'm losing the titles when I do that. What is the name of this, these cards? Prophetic Vision. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. I was like, just imagining like legacy and being like, this is gonna be easy. Um, we'll try legacy later, maybe. Um, am I missing a card completely? That would be embarrassing, right? Um, okay, I need to think. Psychic Maelstrom. I was like, just thinking of like words about psychic and psionic and stuff like that. All of her cards are named like that. I know this one starts with an F, <laughs> I think. Uh, I'm curious if other people are trying this at home and, and how well you're doing too. Um, is there another card? I got Rest of Mine, I got Twisted Ether. Is there another card that I'm missing? I think I've got all the unique cards here. And if I didn't, I mean, Mass Levitation was the main one that I rarely play. I'm thinking if there's any other cards I very rarely play. Two minutes. So I think I got like most of what I got in five minutes or six minutes. So now it's just like being embarrassed about what I didn't get and maybe I'll get something. So I, I'm gonna take the two minutes, but 
I'm mostly out of steam at this point. Um, and it's not great television, is it? <laughs> you want to you want to be running out of time while you're figuring it out. Uh, yeah, visions. Oh man, why can't I think of the names of cards? I didn't like try to prepare because I the point of it was not to prepare. Because if I was doing this on like Matriarch or sorry the Harpy, I'd be I would be totally screwed. Um, or Lifeline or something. So I wanted to sort of compare doing the core game to those maybe next week or something like that, or at some point maybe not right away, but like sort of get there and maybe even do one now and then sort of see how much I do better uh, do I have I'm pretty sure I'm not missing a card what is the name of that Ongoing that deals the damage to all villain targets. I don't know why I can't think of that. I got 15 seconds now before the wolves. Oh, uh, yeah. Those three cards, for some reason, I'm gonna just fail there. Okay. <gasps> Owl. Owl, that come back to me. What are you saying? They're all called Inspiring Super Tonic. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. Did I miss any cards? All right, let's pull up the uh, deck. You know what, I can, I can pull it up in a way that you can see what I'm looking at as well. All right, let me get, this is uh, gonna be messy looking, but we can window capture, text edit capture. Uh, this is uh, kind of interesting developer thing, because this is how we see This is what we see in the, this is how we have it programmed. Uh, so I just need to make sure I can see it on screen at the same time as this. And you can see it as well. So this can go away. Timer. I'm gonna put it like below the chat. Sorry. Like that. Let's put that here. Uh, and we'll go through. So, all right, Rainburn. Uh, one point. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, let me just make this smaller. Okay. Oh, you can't see the points I'm getting. Well, you, I'll just read them out and then you can see that after. Uh, distortion, distraction. Demoralization, oh yeah. Foresight, see I knew it was with an F, uh, but we'll get there. Uh, keywords, one shot, one point. Uh, put the villain trash at the, see, at the start of this, look what I was writing out and at the end of it, it was like one damage to all. <laughs> Deal yourself damage, uh, where X number of cards moved. Yeah, that is two points by my reckoning. Feel free to yell at me if you think I'm getting the scores wrong. Uh, Cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, one shot. Deal up to three targets, two seconds damage each. That's where I would say this is 1.5. That's important. Like, that's an important part of the effect um, that I got wrong. So I'm gonna ding myself half a point on that. And again, I'm not gonna worry about damage types generally, unless it's like really important, like maybe for episode zero. Uh, decoy projection. Projection. No, the distortion limited. 
no points for keywords. Like, keywords have to be right. Title has to be right. There's no po half points, I don't think. I earn up to two points. Uh, yeah, redirect all damage. This means that you know what I meant when I wrote this. That's two points. I know it doesn't read right, but it's correct. Demoralization. Uh, zero points for the score. Our title. Ongoing. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. This is this. Ongoing limited. Uh, no, it's not even that. Oh, it is this. Demoralization. No title. One keywords. And uh, two for the body. It does read terribly. <laughs> It means redirect all damage that would be dealt to the visionary. That's the shorthand. But I can see how it could be wrong. Foresight did not get the title. Uh, ongoing. Oh, it's also limited. No keyword points. Uh, reveal the top three cards of your deck, one in your hand, top of the deck, and one on the bottom of your deck. Nailed it. At least what it was, not what it's called. Uh, mass Levitation. Uh, it is the right title. It is just ongoing. I feel like I should be getting half points now. <laughs> uh, reduce damage dealt by environment cards by three. Yeah, I mean, I didn't write until the start of your next turn. So we'll give up 1.5 for that. That's like... I just didn't even think to write that, but I should have written it. Take walk, where do you mean? You got one right and one wrong. Oh, the, the keywords or the... <laughs> I don't know what you meant. <laughs> uh, mental divergence, I got that. Ongoing limited. Yeah, permanent environment damage reduction. Yeah, that's not. Title and keywords, I got that right. The body score, destroy an ongoing card or take an ongoing card. This is, again, original. This take one ongoing card from A Hero's Trash would not be how they write it in the uh, definitive edition. Take a card. Limited is tough, yeah. But I mean, that's part of it. Uh, I gotta know this stuff. Uh, or I mean, I don't need to know it, but I wanna know it. Uh, one target, three damage. Cool. I could start adding in damage types maybe, but I just wasn't even, I don't think that's that important generally. So uh, you can fight me on that if you want. You would guess 0.5 points for the non-limited keywords, 0.5 points to remember limited. Amount. Okay, well we can uh, come back to that and re-update those scores. Uh, precognition. It's another P. There's so many P. P cards. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Uh, no title. Uh, keywords, one shot. Body, uh, reveal three cards. Oh wait, prophetic vision. I, no, that's the one I did get. I got the title. I got the keyword. Uh, Reveal the top three cards in the environment deck. Put one on top and two on the bottom. Yeah, two points. Oh, precondition and prophetic vision. There, right, they're the same. But they're next to each other because they're named almost the same. So, yeah, no points for the title of precognition, but one for the keywords and two for the... That's just so confusing to me right now. <laughs> uh, prophetic, all right. Psychic Maelstrom. Uh, right title. It's a one shot. Deal uh, each non hero targets two damage. Yeah. If something should be half a point, increase everything else's points more. I'm okay with halves. Fractions are fine. Suggestion, I forgot suggestion. Oh my goodness, I knew there was a card I forgot. Oh my goodness, I need to like make a new, actually that's what this, this line should be. 
the actual card. O M G. I forgot a card. Zero points. Did anyone in the chat forget suggestion? Did anyone in the chat remember that I forgot it? Or did you all also forget suggestion? That's what I want to know. Oh, that's true. I could be pulling it up on the multiverse. Let's do that next time. I'm almost done here, so. You all realize suggestion was missing with 20 seconds left on the timer. I mean, it's already negative points because it's missing out on the points that could be Lou Dolphin. So, that those it's not like I'm I'm getting a score out of a possible score. That's how I'm going to do it. So, so it's not like, you know what I mean? It's still, it is negative. Uh, telekinetic Cocoon, title, uh, ongoing, non-limited. So right now I'm gonna put zero, but we're gonna come back to those zeros and see and redo that calculation. So uh, body score, immune to damage, cannot play or use powers, start your turn, may destroy. Done. Twist the ether. Ongoing, non-limited. Uh, play this next to target. Uh, when it deals damage, damage changes to a type of your choice. Increase or decrease by one. Reduce, yeah, your choice. That would be on a card these days. Uh, please play, destroy this. Perfect. Uh, rest the mind. Ongoing limited. Hey, Pirate Savvy, we're doing memory games. Yeah. It looks like programming, but it's actually a memory game. And we'll, I'll pull up the, the multiverse uh, after, right after this. So we can sort of go over these again that way. Um, so rest the mind. Just make sure the body text is right next to a target other than a character card. Uh, when it deals damage, you may redirect. Uh, if you do deal a target next to this card and herself, three damage. Yeah, two points. Okay. So, right. So we're going to go back onto the keywords. Uh, so let's go, I don't know the best way to show the multiverse. I don't have a big enough screen to show both. Let's just go to these, let's just do it this way this for now. So, decoy projection. Lou, you were saying that we should get a point for knowing that it was limited or for a point for being right about limited or half a point that is so half a point being for being right about limited but not i got the other keyword wrong so no points for that uh then we have telekinetic is not limited but you generally can't get to play too um so again, we had it right that was ongoing, but we were wrong about it being limited. So sort of think of limited being like potentially half the points if it is or isn't limited. I'm okay with that. I get more points, right? Uh, this was um, foresight. Let's do this. Uh, foresight. So it's actually limited. Yeah, but I got that it's an ongoing, so half a point. Yes, Pirate Savvy, trying to see if I can remember the whole deck. So I had 10 minutes to try to, this is me in the spreadsheet writing what I remembered of the deck. And now we're scoring it. I missed suggestion. Uh, I'm embarrassed that I missed a card, but um, you know what? It happens. Uh, mass Levitation. I got that it, I said it was limited, it wasn't, but I said it was ongoing, it was right. And suggestion, zero points, because I totally forgot the card. Uh, I already forgot what these cards were. Uh, <laughs> Precognition. I'm putting them over here because that's the title that I forgot, and suggestion is the one that I forgot. Uh, what the crap? Start of turn. Demoralization. Yeah, it's just a it's a card name that doesn't fit with her other card titles as much that have to do with like being psychic, I guess. So 
Okay, so that can go away. Um, oh, it stays on the screen? Weird. Okay. Uh, I just want to add up my score now. So, um, let's make a formula. So, final score, final points, possible points. final score. So final points is just the sum of these. The possible points is the count of these. Oof. And this that's the count of these times two. And right, then my final score is that divided by that. And we can give it as like a percentage. Uh, I think I can do that. How do I do that? Data format percentage. Hmm. Oh, not, yeah, I don't need that many decimals. Zero. Uh, and then I can do like a final, final score is the sum of these divided by sum. Oh, it's weird that it uses like the written, no, the sum, no, oh God, what have I done? by this um, Lud's a math teacher. You can tell me if I'm doing this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. And this is 83%. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I got 83% on the visionary. Uh, missing one card. So I could like put in minus his points here if you wanted to give me like, that's minus 100 points, guys. Got minus 83 <laughs> percent. Let's say this is minus one, minus one, and minus two. It would drop it down. But I think having it at zero is fine. It, like if you don't, if you miss a question, if you don't put anything on the question on a test, you don't get minus points. You just get zero points for that. Five out of six. All right, that was already 40 minutes. Okay, let's play some games. <laughs> We were getting set up and everything, so uh, I will, maybe we'll do one more at the end of the stream, um, but maybe not, because I'm going to be playing Core Game Heroes this stream, and that'll give me an unfair advantage, so um, I'm going to save this in my numbers, we'll call it Sentinels Memory Game, and maybe at the top of streams we'll do another one. Uh, maybe once a week. Uh, Licky Y Heroes? Uh, yeah, we could do it. Um, we could do hero environments and villains too. Uh, okay, hide that. If this was your entire stream, it's really fun. Yeah, I, I would, I could definitely do more. I just wanted to play some Sentinels as well. So we'll see if we have time or I don't have like a time limit, so we'll see if I want to do another one in between games. Now that we have the system set up, the scoring actually takes like just as long as doing it, right? So in order to, you could make like a sporkle, sporkle, right? That might be a good way to do it, is to just use one of those quiz systems to put it in. Um, but since it was more of a like prototype, it's just like, let's do it in a spreadsheet. Uh, it's just like, that's how we do programming is we just try a bunch of stuff out. Uh, look how actually, I, you don't have it on the screen anymore. I got I got the body text 90% correct for the cards. And if I had remembered suggestion, I would have gotten suggestion, right? Take like take two cards from the villain trash, one on top, one on bottom. Um, cell equals cell number plus cell number. Uh, that would 
cause an infinite explosion, I guess. <laughs> uh, I can't hear my game. Did I turn the music down? Oh, it's just really quiet in my ears. That's okay. I don't really need to hear it that much. Uh, let's uh, play. I wanted to play all of the villains in the core game. So I'm going to do that and we'll see. And just press. Oh, I didn't. I don't, yeah, what I want to do actually is. Why don't I just close this, this, this? Change it to only be core game because the core game is free on Google Play and iOS right now. So go get it. And you might be wondering, what can you even play in the core game? Well, there's 9,000 possible games. I'm going to play them all right now. Brittany's not into that. <laughs> I'm just going to press random and we're going to play that setup. Baron Blade and Insular Malice. There we go. I do want to hear the game though. Hang on a second. You're going to lose audio for one second. And you should have it back now. I still can't. I can't hear the game in my head own headphones. I wonder if that's like OBS is getting it, but I'm not. Hang on, let me just mute OBS here. Don't blow your ears out. Oh yeah, I can get it but it's like super quiet and then it's gonna like be really loud for you. So let me turn that down and then that up. Oh, weird. It like doesn't affect it. I don't know. I'm turning things way up. <laughs> Maybe you should have gone with a variance. You can play with variants uh, in the core game with of Sentinels. There's no Purchases required. It's part of the core game of the video game, Licky. All right, I can hear the game now. Let me know if it sounds okay to you as well still since I mixed it up. Uh, let's hit these MDPs. They're, Baron Blade wants us to uh, take forever fighting him, I guess. Since there's two, we spread the damage around because killing one, it doesn't really do anything. Do, 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 do. Uh, how about you don't play that thing? That really hurts us, but... This is, do we have uh, ongoing destruction? I guess I don't have to play super fast. I just feel like I'm fast. I have ball lightning. Yeah, he can play his loving force field. That's all right. So yeah, Let's slow down. I just feel like amped up from doing that quiz for some reason. Yep, you can unlock all of them with the unlock button from the core game. Blade is at regular difficulty. Uh, okay. I need to kill these MDPs, but it's also just regular Baron Blade, right? He's not in a hurry, is he? Embolden. Who's got another power? I know. Oh yeah, Rod's gonna pick up field to Play Drawn to the Flame, but it won't do it. It won't. It'll hit the MDPs because he's going to play an ongoing card. So sure, raw. Have it. And we get to use a power. I think the best thing we can do is probably do two damage. So Tempest or Rock can each do two damage total to these things.
click on the MDPs and we'll have maybe raptors will come eat them. Yeah, Absolute Zero can get up to some shenanigans. Yeah, Raptor Pack comes out, eats an MDP. Works for me. Baron Blade plays that living force field. So we want to get out another power. Uh, we can take out the MDP. And Draw the Flame isn't doing a whole lot, but it is. It's the Raptors for one. They jump very high, yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm not really doing much with Zimbolden, and I could still keep it around, but it's not doing anything for a while, so. Uh, let's get modules. I uh, don't really care about the raptor, but I don't not care about the raptor. Especially if more raptors come. I can't hit Baron Blade with that right now, so. We can probably have the raptor go away. I can use Utility Belt. So I can have both of my powers active. Controlling the villain deck is one of the strongest things you can do in this game. If you're wondering about the utility of the visionary or other deck manipulating heroes. Uh, I'm going to discard a card, probably so Fnatic can draw a card she wants more. Absolution, that'll do. And... Ra doesn't necessarily... I mean, I could go with Solar Flare and get both of my powers. I don't can't do both powers now, I guess, but... I feel like Ra wants more options, right? So I probably don't need both infrared eyepieces. Let's give card draws to everyone. Hey, Staff of Ra. I don't give a bad rap to Absolute Zero. Absolute Zero is excellent. All right, we were going to do this. Oh, that's, well, uh, Wrath of Retribution is going to do five damage. I must discard cards. Let's discard everything except the one that lets me draw a whole bunch more. You know what? Still damage. It's not maybe the best time for it. Uh, someone can use a power. Should we just kill that little raptor bot, maybe? Velociraptor pack. Yeah, that's. there's nothing else. We could, like, double up on one of these, but I think we're happy with him playing that redirect card, so... Ra can finish off the raptor pack. I mean, Fnatic could as well. Or hit Baron Blade, I guess, for a couple damage, but... That's going after us, and if more raptors come out... It's more dangerous. Oh uh, yeah, we wanted to blow up the living force field. And I don't need to destroy any hero cards. Baron Blade is vulnerable. Yes, Sparky Wolf, Oblivion has protection against manipulation. With cards that say, if this card will be revealed, or discarded. So that is dangerous. Uh, all right. So I can't get to Baron Blade with a raw right now because of that. Um, so I don't need the healing, but I do want the plus one damage. So I'm just going to get that going and start hitting on this. Taking damage is great. Absolute Zero would love to take some damage. And he's going to deal damage to Fnatic right now. Unintentionally. But, you know what? He's still okay with it. And he's going to hit himself again. 
one fire damage turns into four cold damage now. Oh yeah, it's true. You can do suggestion, no executions. You can do into the stratosphere. Um, yeah, some manipulation, but not your main mainstays, but not actually mainstay. Uh, all right, Wraith would really love to get her uh, pokey poke things. So let's start with. Uh, honestly, everyone has cards except Fanatic. So maybe Fanatic wants to draw a card, actually. So let's start with that. Let's discard cards so Fanatic can draw a card. And let's put another one of those. That's kind of annoying with our heroes. We're only dealing 12 damage here. It's not that bad, is it? Who's taking five damage? Fanatic. Fanatic likes to take damage, except now she doesn't, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, having him play a one shot is better than him playing other things, most likely. You know what? This is pretty easy to get rid of. Episode zero does end up hitting someone, but overall that's doing less. Uh, Discard another card. Oh yeah, Razor Ordnance is going to be better than throwing knives. Actually, I don't really need the trust fund, do I? It combos with her power, but the knife needs a card now, so. Oh, I can do it again. Fanatic, still draw cards. Also, still draw cards. Fanatic might not need a card now. Tempest is set up. Yeah, she can play one of these things for sure. Uh, Raw might want a card. Yeah. Meh. Oh, we can do it again. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> the double effect of that power is a lot. Uh, yeah, let's just bonk on Baron Blade a bunch. Shall we play a random card or just deal some damage? Let's just deal some damage right now since we have a boost. That would have been a good card. Oh well. Tempest could reclaim from the deep for Fnatic to get a card back. That's not too bad, but Team Bound Shackles, even better. I should just say all game for Obsidian Field. <laughs> Very rarely want to get rid of that. Uh, we can destroy an ongoing card to take two damage or not for four damage. Raw certainly doesn't really need that. Uh, Alpha Zero does want that. Fanatic does want that. Because it's actually going to reduce the damage she takes here to the same. Yeah, the environment's done more risk than Baron Blade has. There's that elemental redistributor again. That's fine. I could probably... I don't really need to play any of these, so I could play Staff again next turn. So let's blow up this thing. And then Absolute Zero won't. Hit it. Absolute Zero has done more to the heroes than Baron Blade has. I guess so, right? Baron Blade hasn't touched us, I don't think. He's only played defense cards. Well, there, Ra is good at taking care of that. I'm just gonna say all game, and I can rewind if I change my mind. It's effective against this team Kusunoki, but it's also easy for them to smash. I do love Thermal Shockwave, but I also like just beating up on Baron Blade, because I still have a lot of hit points. Thermal Shockwave takes like two whole turns to get set up with the null point and everything. 
I ain't got time for that. Uh, let's peek at the villain deck again. Yeah, you can have a blade battalion. He might not actually... He might flip before then, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, yeah, I can discard this for someone to draw. The Tempest doesn't have anything great. Jebel Joss, hello. You have a question about completionist guys. Let's hear your question. Yeah, Baron Blade's going to probably shuffle because everyone's going to beat up on him, but oh well. I can discard an extra copy of Throwing Knives for someone. Ra's probably okay. Everyone's getting more cards than a Wraith. Lightning Slash. I mean, the more I give over to Fnatic, the more that she can use for Divine Focus, so... And Divine Focus might not be a good, not might be a bad idea here because there's an Obsidian Field and I have lots of cards. So I can also smite the Transgressor and do both things. Eh, let's just pi keep piling on. We need to activate Guise's special form. Well. I'm sure the internet has talked about how to do that, but you just need to be the best. Be the very best. Discard a card. Let's put this over here. I guess I didn't need to discard for Fnatic, right? Because Tempest is doing four damage, but Am I really going to undo for that? No. No, I'm not. The chat here, Jevil Joss, might just tell you how to do it. If they're feeling generous. Ugh. Another one of these foolish things. No. 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 The environment is hitting us way harder than Baron Blade ever is. Yeah, Santa Guys has one, and uh, Guys has a different one. Be the best like no one ever was, exactly. Oh, Baron Blade is dealing some damage! Good job, Baron Blade. We knew you could do it. Uh, yeah, we're going to be going damage. We might want a hit point. We'll see. He discards cards from his deck when it doesn't matter anymore. All right, 24 health. I think that is going to be it for Baron Blade. Yeah, we're not going to need this, because we're going to be taking them out here. What's the most that Ra can do? Probably Staff of Ra and throw the Staff of Ra? Yeah. I don't have a one-shot, so... Yeah, Absolute Zero is basically got it. Yeah. You didn't even need Fenex help. <laughs> Would have had it. Alright, that's Baron Blade. Onward to the next core game villain. Just because you can beat all the core game villains maybe in an evening once you know how to play uh, you can still have all kinds of different combinations of heroes and environments, so it's not over in terms of content. Let's go with Voss against Haka, Visionary. Oh yeah, Ra could have hit Absolute Zero. That would have been more damage. You're right, Kusunoki. This 
this might take a little longer. Boss with three heroes. Yeah, just because you've played a villain once doesn't mean you put the game away. I played Voss many times, and he always is interesting. Who has the highest hit points? Who has the most ongoing guards in play? The Visionary Will, because it is the Visionary Unleashed. All right, we have a Gene Bound Guard and a Psy Weaver. They are both not our friends. Uh, Cerebral, oh look, it's the Visionary, and we can look at all our cards. <laughs> her real cards. We'll reflect on our inadequacies at that point. Uh, okay. Legacy doesn't have a great starting hand, but Haka can start working on these. Guard and Sideweaver are the priorities here. Hello, Wusui. Or Su Suhoi. I'm not sure. Haka, considered by many to be the hero with the highest HP. Uh, yeah, we're going to use Cerebral Hemorrhage here to hit the villains. So hit the guard first because he's providing damage reduction for everyone. Oh, I can't hit the Side Weaver though because it's psychic damage that can hit the other two. Howie in, like in Joey. Sue Howie, cool. And I can also do a little more psychic damage. The Banshee does the most damage, so go away. Psy Weaver, can I get rid of? Oh, I can play a card though. I can have someone play, uh, someone that is Haka play Elbow Smash. To get rid of the soldier, I don't. He only does two damage. He can stay out all day long, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Legacy could go with lead from the front to start potentially getting a combo set up. So let's do that. Haka will smash the elbows. Pervasive red dust, all of our equipment card. And it's a ship already. Should have precognitioned, I guess. Uh, no, how can we take his two damage? All right, so this ship it re revealed a minion from the trash, and it's gonna do each hero target three energy damage, and we don't like that. It's also immune to melee damage, so Haka is basically powerless against it. Uh, I could use Heroic Interception to save most of the team, or I could use Twist the Ether to um, reduce its damage by one. But I don't like it, is what I'm saying, generally. Uh, yeah, if Sokka's Savage Mana, he can attack it with Toxic Damage, but he doesn't right now. Uh, we can do this on Legacy, so that we can redirect to Legacy and then back to Haka to basically reduce all damage by one. It just goes to Haka, but... Uh, and yeah, I mean, demoralization does a th small thing. It increases this, but then so does twist the ether, right? Uh, so I think, I mean, I could twist the ether on legacy so we could actually hit the ship, but the ship is going to go off. We're not going to be able to destroy it unless we're immune to damage from the environment. So the question is, do we want to you know, use Heroic Interception to reduce, I mean, it's three damage, but 
how many rounds is that going to be out? It might be a while. This is my concern. If I give Twisted Ether to Haka, he can Rampage and hit it for six damage, which is better than anyone else can do. So I think that's probably that, and then Legacy is going to like protect protect us against it, basically. So let's do that. Oh, and actually, the combo of Haka's power and Legacy's uh, lead from the front means that Legacy is protected as well. Our heroic interception. So that's a good combo. So yeah, let's give this to Haka so he can. Haka smash, but we will attack it, and we'll leave that soldier around so it costs it to flip. Because we're with uh, Hurricane Interception and Haka's power, we're immune to damage, basically. That redirects the Haka and immune to damage. So we could rampage right now, and we won't take any damage. So why don't we do that right now? Unless I want to do something else. Play Precognition, maybe? Because, like, I'll be able to... I'll be able to do that Rampage on Haka's turn anyways, and it will get more things. So, yeah. Let's play Precognition instead. Either Precognition or even Demoralization is another ongoing for Visionary, and I don't know that we're going to get to killing the ship, but yeah, let him play what he plays. We have Mental Divergence that we can destroy fixed, or that forced deployment with if we want. Oh, Motivational Charge. Nice. We do agree to discard a card. Uh, Foresight, the card, I could not remember its name. And Danger Sense is okay. I believe there's no ongoing destruction, is there? So that can go. Haka can get a Teha back, which will be actually really nice. Except another Dust? No, okay. <laughs> Oh, the, good, this is hitting the ship, and this is going to kill that guy. And the heroes are all immune to it, so. So Boss is going to flip, but he can't hit us, so that's okay. Supreme nonsense. Let me see that is in Skyscraper's play area, but not next to any cards, because the link put on Ambuscade was destroyed. Weird. All right, no damage, thanks to Haka and Legacy holding hands. Another Psy Weaver appears. That siren is not in my game, but it must be very loud if I can hear it through my... Is that siren very loud, Brittany? Very loud. <laughs> it's like, I'm not playing in the Megalopolis in Fire and Snake, so what's going on? Uh, all right, let's pound this spaceship with lightning and fire and sonic and also hit Voss for psychic damage. Legacy and Haka are pushing each other out of the way to take a hit, like a pair of people racing out of the room. Exactly, and they're both huge, so they get stuck in the doorway. Uh, and we can just choose whatever, and re and it's Heroic Interception, right. But Legacy is going to get hit for the one damage. Yeah. But then we also have Taeha. So we still... Hurricane Interception is getting destroyed, so there's no point to using... I mean, there is a point to using the power, but... Blowing up this spaceship is the bigger point. We can get it down to two, then the environment can destroy it for us. And we 
can because actually she can destroy it right now. So perfect. Okay, so let's go with Quick Mission now. How about we don't have this spaceship on top of the deck? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with getting this lightning guy. That's fine. Haka has Taiha, so he can destroy that and then hit boss, so. That Conqueror can go on the very bottom. And the Visionary crushes the lucidity of the spaceship. There's that. It's not a D-Guard prediction. I realize after like, obviously the key, the key word is not the same as the title. It's distortion, not projection. Uh, let's see. Do we want someone to play a card? Dominion would be good for Haka there, wouldn't it? So let's get motivational charge and hopefully we'll get the legacy ring soon. But we'll have Haka play Dominion so that he can start drawing off the environment. We had to discard cards, right? So we're down a bit. Uh, one player to discard two cards, destroy this. We this would just hit boss for two and us for a bunch. So I think we can discard for that. Uh, ooh, take down, yeah. Let's discard Danger Sense. Second card. Okay. Takedown's too good. Ground Pound also too good. Oxygen Lake, reduce all fire damage by three. That is just what he does, but he only does one damage, right? Uh, and we are so low on cards. I don't need decor projection right now. I do want Mental Divergence to be able to destroy Force Deployment when it comes out. And I want Haka to keep drawing lots of cards. Just a Shock Infantry. Uh, don't need to redirect, there's no reduction or anything. Keep spreading that damage out for right now. And we can keep working on, oh, another Dominion. Having a trio of Dominions. Oh, of course, I just randomly clicked the one that he was immune to. Yes. What's the opposite of lightning? Earth. There's no earth damage. Let's go with toxic. And boss is getting lightning damage. Oops. Sorry, I'll stop playing with my microphone. Uh, I could use Mental Divergence to get a hero, an ongoing guard from a hero trash onto the top of the deck, but is there anything I super want to get? I don't think so. Maybe Heroic Interception, but that's there's not really any need for it right now, right? So, or even in a while, because Voss is not playing a card because of this. And we want someone to play a card, we play another Dominion. Or we can, yeah, let's play another Dominion. Let's get Haka lots of cards. And maybe he'll find Savage Mana and eat all the things. Another Oxygen Leak. Discard a card to destroy it. Well, I know who has cards. It's Haka. He doesn't actually have that many cards. But he's gonna draw two right here, right? He doesn't need restoration right now. There's Savage Mana. We'll get that into play, and then you have it. Really messes up boss. I 
because Voss wants to have his guys in the trash and then suddenly he doesn't. No need to hit anyone else or there's no redirects or anything. Uh, I feel like I want to save this. Well, do I need to save it right now? I don't know. I want to save it for like if they bring out their guys again, but I'm just gonna play it. I'm, I'm just gonna play it. Let's keep hitting the villain. Win condition. Rest in mind. Well, I won't be able to play that, most likely. I guess I'll play Danger Sense, and should I let Haka play another card? He could play Restoration to draw some cards. Not terrible. He could play Mare to be drawing more. We don't really need the healing. I mean, Legacy could heal a little bit, I guess. That's, I mean, it's still also two damage. Another copy of Takedown. Sure, let's just have Voss do nothing and punch him until he's gone. Oh no, he's doing one more damage. Whatever will we do? Tamar has damage reduction, which we could get past with Rampage here. And it's only one damage to our team. Uh, so I'm gonna do it. Because we get to eat those up, nom nom nom, and draw more cards. And we can say, reduce the damage, reduce the damage. And then also hit Voss. Not bad. Haka puts people in his cargo pants. Sure. Uh, rest of mind, no need to play that. And I could double skip or do four damage. You know what, four damage is pretty solid. That's a shotgun. Brain burn will consider. Take down, absolutely. Uh, no need for him to play a card, her to play a card. Uh, not really a huge need for Hawker to play a card, so let's just keep sustaining and hitting boss. I don't mind reshuffling, especially if Hawker gets to draw two cards. Basically, that is a card that Tachyon hates the most, but... Red Dust, goodbye Taiha. Again, we'll get you back. Boss does a little damage. No big deal. Uh... Yeah, I want a damaging power again, don't I? I mean, I have Twisted Ether. That would do damage, but... Did I say Twisted Ether? I mean Savage Mana. What did I say? I don't know what I said. Visionary is not going to play Brain Burn until Force Deployment comes. <laughs> so, let's just keep hitting the villain. I guess I'll play Superhuman Durability. I could end up drawing something that I really want to not discard for Pervasive Red Dust, but you know what? This is never gonna happen, so I'm just gonna skip and then I have it to discard. Is there something someone wants to play again? I don't think so. No.
Yes, we all agree. Yeah, I would rather have Thok, so that was a good call. And Haka already has the thing he wants to draw in his trash, and no one else had equipment to discard. It's a nice pervasive of a desk can sometimes just let you play equipment. It's nice. Each target two damage. Well, I hit boss. Oh, and not legacy. Uh, we can destroy an ongoing card or take two more damage. Nah. 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 We don't want to do that. We're winning. Quirk drive. Okay. You do that. Boss is not playing his best game today. Uh, we don't have a win, do we? 10, 13, 14, uh, 18. Yeah, and 21, 23, 25 if we left that. So close. Uh, oh, but we could, yeah, we could let Haka play. It would be very close to winning, but not. Exactly, we wouldn't win. <laughs> so we can do Haka Battle next turn, I think. We can get more mileage out of Elbow Smash here. And I'm really not worried about Quirk Drive. I'm gonna ignore it. Maybe if we have area damage. Like this. Oh, we have Savage Mana. That's actually slightly more damage than the other card, but not a huge difference. Not a, I think we're still short a couple damage. Oh, I forgot demoralization, but yeah, I think we were not quite there. I could rest the mind on something for an additional damage. Sure. Let's see, if he was, yeah. We did play. We did play elbow smash, which was worth more damage than the one from. Uh... From Haka battle. We'll just get him next turn. There's nothing he literally. There's nothing boss can do here to make us lose. So, that's game. We could have the environment. Make damage. Make all targets immune to damage. I guess. I guess. Legacy isn't going to need his cards, so he's not going to get to go. Haka can have more cards. If Haka has to skip his turn, that would be unfortunate, but he does, doesn't. I mean, he would just Haka battle and then Visionary Skipper turn and then Legacy let Haka play a card. Oh no, first deployment. Here's where I would brain burn if we weren't winning. All right, we just need to discard four cards because we have savage mana. That's going to do five damage. to draw every hearts because I destroyed him. <laughs> oh, now he is minus one. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Visionary's got it. <laughs> there. I forgot about the minion with the minus one. No matter. All right, that's two out of four. Next up, Omnitron in Atlantis. Bunker and Tachyon decide to join. 
the game. Yeah, Voss just didn't play cards and tech and temp and legacy made sure that he couldn't play cards for two rounds, so poor Voss. Alright, Omnitron. Sorry, I just tabbed through that. Uh let's summon the stat. Base raw again. Uh I'm gonna go with Drawn to the Flame here and play Staff of Rod next turn. Excuse me. Maybe. Oh yeah. That's good. Omnitron's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> I will actually take the healing from Staff of Rod here, so let's do it this way. And do I need to hit the drone? External combustion could do it uh, one damage, or sorry, three damage, so I need to hit it a little bit. Okay. This is actually going to be a crazy Tempest turn. Because uh, Tempest is going to play Gene Bound Shackles and then play all of his one shots and do a lot of damage to Omnitron. Six damage. Let's just try it after play the subroutine. Thirteen damage. Twenty damage on his first turn. That's nice. I, do I want to play this, or do I want to... Yeah, what I want to do is... Play this. It lets me draw an extra card, right? If I have a card here that I don't want. Yeah, I can like go into recharge mode or something, so... First, I can draw a card. See what I get. Another turret mode. Fine. Do this. Yeah, not bad. Tachyon. Slightly less exciting turn. She's going to play Pushing the Limits and not discard a card. You know what? Not everyone has a 20 damage first turn, and that's okay. Not that I had to play all those right away, that was just fun and exciting. Oh no, the Kraken. Look at Omnitron playing. I mean, destroying that, yeah, destroying that drone actually didn't do anything because of the flip side. That's fine. Garner the Flame is going to do great work for us here. I'll still draw a card for one damage. Hey look, we get to draw more cards. Oh, but I take a damage for each one. You know what? Worth it. Still worth it. Uh... Still gonna play this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna stop. Tempest is fine. He'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh I'm gonna play grenade launcher, I'm gonna wait till next turn to get turret mode going also. Tachyon's gonna hypersonic assault this Kraken, so about it. I will still draw a card though. Uh, yes. Yes, I do wish. Uh, let's go start with Nimble Strike to see what we draw. 
can also blinding speed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get damage for that, but that's okay. I could blinding speed the Kraken, but honestly, he's gonna be hypersonic assaulted, so he doesn't need to die right now. He could just take splash damage and maybe he'll go away. And yeah, we're gonna draw cards. We need cards. And we can't deal damage anyway. Oh, good look, hypersonic assault number two. The danger here is all the Krakens come out and kill Tempest, but that didn't happen. Also, we can't play cards. It's unfortunate. And no damage, but we lose our ongoings. Fine. Uh, are we going to get to deal seven damage? That's three. That's three. That's two, because I can't play cards. Uh, so five. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to just uh, destroy the beam. So we may as well just kill the drone, and we're not going to. The Kraken's going to get us now. <gasps> it's just going to happen. Oh no, the drone is the, it can, it, the Kraken's gonna go after that drone. Yeah, okay. Let the Kraken do it. Ooh, Solar Flare. Yeah, Tempest is just gonna skip because... Don better step up, yeah. We'll see. There was really no need for me to have that big turn. It was just fun. Uh. We can do some damage. Sure, why not? And Tachyon can't play cards. Yeah, discard that. And yeah, still draw a card. A card is definitely worth one damage. And the Kraken, two Krakens. Yeah, I thought that might happen eventually. Oh no, Tempest! All right, just plays a repair drone. So those Krakens are potentially a problem. We are going to, we could just not hypersonic assault and let them take out the drones for us, but that's not really sporting, is it? Uh, I could Scorched Earth for three damage. Let's do that. And the environment's not going to get destroyed. You can leave those for the Krakens, maybe. Oh, we could Stratosphere Interpolation Beam on top. That seems real nice. And I'm not gonna play card. I'm not gonna use a power to get killed. Uh, yeah, let's go turret mode. Use this. Get the Krakens into, you know, reasonable territory. Uh, destroy turret mode. Draw a card. Ooh, play, if I play this, there definitely won't be an, an additional Kraken. So, that is ideal. That message should have hit period at the end. Literally unplayable. Literally unplayable. Uh, let's go with... I don't 
don't know if I, yeah, let's see if I can play my books in the quick insight. I got lots to draw and discard. Good, I get a pushing the limits. Not feeling the synaptic interruption right now. And I don't probably need as many blinding speeds. We'll do another quick insight, I think. Ooh, fleets of beat. Need one soda assault and how good am I feeling about blinding speed? Blinding speed is really important with this environment because there's some bad cards, but there's not I don't know. Would I rather discard something else? I guess Sonic Vortex. I like Sonic Vortex, but it is the weakest link. There's Research Grant. Breaking up the Kraken family, yeah. The Krakens go after the drone, and we'll Hypersonic Assault next turn, probably. Oh, good. It's like, oh, he could kill Tempest here, but he didn't. Get rid of that interpolation beam right now. Or Tempest could just do it with ball lightning. I kind of want to have a power, even if it does give plus one against me. Basically, if Tempest gets hit at all, he's dead. So there's plus one against him, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Yeah, if I go too hard against Omnitron, it won't be an ongoing card. But then I'll just use that, so yeah. Let's just go hard on Omnitron. Falling, yeah, let's do this. I really like Vicious Cyclone on the villain though, but I also want to have a power. I want I want everything. Do that and just take out this Kraken maybe. I mean they're gonna yeah. Let's do that so that the hypersonic cleans up some stuff. Draw lots of cards. Try not to get killed. How about we do the same thing? Move one hit point for hypersonic assault. I still have turret modes. I don't know how I still have turret modes. Let's play a maintenance unit, I guess. I have Omni Cannon that could do zero damage. I mean, I then have Omni Cannon for next turn. It's probably better than. I can do zero damage. Good job. I have Omni Cannon for next turn. Basically, I don't need hit points. Lousy with hit points, except for Tempest. We don't talk about that. Everyone draw a card. Continue to play cards. Nine burst cards. We're getting there. We're gonna hypersonic assault though. Because we don't want these Krakens to kill Tempest, probably. Uh, and let's play Research Grant and we'll do our light speeds next turn, probably. Research Grant is very good. If you were not aware, highly recommend it. And not another Kraken. And Tempest goes down. Because of that plus one he got. <laughs> oh well. We knew that might happen. It'll be okay. 
Tempest got his licks in. Adaptive plating, you say? Was not another Kraken. It's true. It was something else. All right. Ra doesn't like the adaptive plating subroutine at all. Bunker Rave. What are the end caps here? Destroy an ongoing card. Well, that's convenient. Or put a card from the villain or environment trash into play. That could be really interesting with, like, uh, not the, well, Pillars of Hercules, but playing the villain deck is bad, but, yeah. There's uh, some environment cards that could be fun with that. Uh, and maybe villain cards, too. Like, Wager Master could, like, you could win if you play the right card at the right time. Uh, let's hit something else with this. Uh... Tekken's just going to blinding speed that thing. I'm going to get the most damage using... Actually, I could throw the staff. Let's just throw the staff. Because we're going to destroy that ongoing card. Tekken can destroy the defenses. Probably they're not our friend. Bunker does want to move those maintenance units under the Omni Cannon where they belong. And maybe, I mean, I have Grenade Launcher. I could also, yeah, I could turret mode and use both. Oh, yeah, okay. I could use Grenade Launcher here and then use this. Right? What did I put under Omni Cannon? Should I put something else? Maybe I'll just use these two, not use my base power. I don't know. I'll think about it while I'm doing this. Let's hurt the Kraken. We're gonna let the Kraken eat the drone, though, I think. Yeah, I kinda just wanna use the Omni Cannon now. I don't get to draw a card next turn, but I can deal with that when we get there. Might not matter because I think Tachyon just wins now. Is that on the Tron Hitter? No. Might be able to get the Kraken to hit uh, Omnitron. That would be fun. Play so many cards. Let's play burst cards. This is gonna do, yeah, 22 puts it into Kraken territory. So we don't have to do this. I just wanna like get another burst in. Actually, we just win now because yeah, 13, okay. We win now. We could have left it for the Kraken, but we did not. Actually, the Kraken is gonna do it for us. <laughs> nice. By defeating the repair drone. All right, Citizen Don, what will you have for us? Sure, sure. All right, we have 15 minutes. We can go long. 15 minutes officially to defeat Citizen Don. Let's pick Don, oops, and then randomize the rest. We got Atlantis again. What environment did we not? We didn't get Megalopolis, right? Do we need to pick Megalopolis? Just to... And is there a hero we didn't get? We got all the heroes, didn't we? I think so. We had Fnatic in the first game. We just had Bunker. We had Absolute Zero before. Yeah, we've had all the heroes, so this is our lineup. This is how I play generally, just random. I don't try to pick heroes. If you want to learn how to play this game, uh, play randomly. 
and not like play random cards, but like choose your setups randomly is a great way to learn things that you would not think of trying and combos and stuff. Oh good, hammer at the start, blood find. And that's a great time for devastating Aurora. Yeah, the first two games, I guess, were like five heroes in each game, and I had them all, all ten. <laughs> all right, I've hit, this is the fourth game, I guess, isn't it? All right, and actually, this we had this variant earlier, too. That's fine. Uh, all right, so Citizen Hammer is bad. We can... He's not immune to fire though, so we could just kill him with Blazing Tornado directly. Which, uh, we have Savage Mana, but no way to use it, so... This guy's a priority, other guys less so. So let's burn down, just send some fire back Adam's way. It's funny, the kind of purpose of this variant of Ra's power is to find Blazing Tornado, and I found it. <laughs> uh, and Citizen Blood, I'm just going to leave alone. He only deals one damage, um, and uh, Haka will pick him up with Savage Mana. So let's go with Impromptu Invention. Infrared Eyepiece, I love that. So let's go with Utility Belt and Infrared Eyepiece, I think. And let us look at the villain deck. Healing Light or Citizen Truth. I wonder, what would I rather she play? The one where she regains 10 HP while she's at full? Or the one where... No. Uh, yep, the chat is explaining what I'm doing, so excellent. The top of the villain of the environment deck is heroes cannot use powers. Nope. Yeah, so Sentinels is free on uh, the iOS App Store and Google Play as part of a promotion with my app free. And so you can get it for free on those stores and Amazon App Store as well. And it's, you know, a free download and then you have it. It's your game uh, at that point. So, yeah, hope you like it. So I'm going to use Mare. I, I, basically, I just want this for the card draw. So I'll hit Dawn. She's going to heal. I want that card draw. Well, Megalopolis has more exciting plans for us, apparently. I should see if we have it, have had any point redemptions or requests. No requests as of yet. If you want to be a Spirit Island Saturday guest player, you can use your point elabras, or you can request me or others to play certain heroes or things like that, uh, and we can take that under advisement. All right, so Don did a whole lot of nothing. Uh, let's shoot her. We can also continue to control her deck and the environment deck. Actually, Rook City Wraith can potentially get a environment card that destroys all other environment cards. So let's look for that first. It was Cramped Quarters Combat. You know what? I'll take increased damage dealt by one. That's only going to work for me. Uh, again, Anvil, reduce damage dealt to all citizens by one and bring Hammer back. Or Citizen Spring, who does basically nothing. Citizen Spring can be on top. Infrared Eyepiece also lets you draw a card, which feels very gratuitous. It doesn't, it would be totally worth using every turn without the draw card part. Uh, we're, we're gonna punch for plus one. <laughs> Yeah, just watch watch the stream. You probably have, Sparky Wolf, you probably have tens of thousands of points. You're here all the time. 
We're all discarding a card. Rock and discard. Excavation, probably. It's a good card draw, but he doesn't need it right now. Uh, it's a little early for inventory barrage. I might actually want multiple copies of things because Don destroys our stuff. And Haka doesn't need that healing right now. Hey, Don takes one damage. And regains one hit point. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for deck manipulation, we would have Citizen Truth and. Uh, it would be like, yeah. The other card we put in the bottom that she played. So she would she would have. Next turn, she would have Citizen Anvil as well. <laughs> How am I? Oh, I'm three hit points away from the top. That means Staff of Raw, maybe? Yeah. I'm happy to leave those citizens alone until Haka can eat them, so we'll keep focusing fire on Citizen Dawn. With plus one. I mean, there's literally one citizen in the trash, so the count is not a problem, but I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. I don't think I really need to look at the environment if I have other powers, because mostly the environment of Megalopolis is just bad. So, we'll just look at Don's deck and then attack her. Oh look! Cards that don't do anything again. Uh, this would heal her for 10, which would set us back a little bit. This ongoing is very easy for us to get rid of, uh, or just like do more damage because of. <laughs> so, I'm okay to have her play that. It helps keep these citizens we don't really care about alive, too. If we happen to hit them. I would would, would have been happy to just not invert IPs there and let her play both of those cards, though. Because they both do very little. Uh, yeah, we may as well go with Savage Mana here. And be getting ready to chow down on a citizen or two. It is a little dangerous because if she plays Devastating Aurora, um, she would destroy Savage Mana, but she's already played one, so she can't. we can't have an infrared eyepiece pull up two. There's only two copies total. Oh, if Luminous Leadership reduced damage dealt to by one, that would be real bad. If you didn't have ongoing destruction, you would just be in real bad trouble. Even, in, like, she, she could start with both copies of that and you would still be okay. The way it is right now. I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, Drawn to the Flame right now is two damage to everything. I don't actually want to hit everything. I only want to hit them. Uh, this is hitting Dawn for five. I'm okay for it to hit Ra for five, probably. Uh, so I think I'll use Inferno to chip away at on and the monorail just to keep it under control. I'm not going to hit them because, well, you know what? Is Haka going to eat one? Haka could eat one. Let's have Haka eat uh, Blood, who actually is doing slight damage to Wraith every turn. So that's... He has Haka Battle, so he can do arbitrary damage. Let's have Haka eat blood, yeah. <laughs> well, mainly damage, Citizen Don. Hey, look, another impromptu invention. Throat jab. Doesn't really do a ton against Citizen Don, especially if you can uh, control her deck, but... Yeah, I have micro-targeting computer of an embarrassment of riches here. Um, we could play another Inferred Eyepiece if there's some, if we come up with something we don't like. We could stun bolt Sizendon, who only deals one damage on H equals three, so it's really not a concern. The only direct damage she deals, 
Besides that is Blinding Blast, which is also just two damage. It's not very much that she deals directly. It's more like there are citizens who do much more damage than she does. Uh, I mean, Mega Computer could help against potentially, like most of the environment doesn't do anything until the next environment turn though. It's not a huge, it's not, there's not much reason to play multiple Mega Computers in Megalopolis. Why would you ever do that? Which is why there's a special thing about doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, throwing knives. I have literally have two of them in my hand, so I could play micro targeting from this and then play something else with my card play, like Combat Stance or anything. Just throat jab to hit Don more. You know what? Infrared Eyepiece. There are cases where it's like there's two bad cards and I don't want either of them. So we use it first and we see. Yeah, like winter, two damage to each air target is bad, but uh, destroy all ongoing cards controlled by the Wraith. Okay. Sure, Autumn, you do that as hard as you want. We'll continue hitting Citizen Dawn. And Haka wants, wants blood. So he needs one more damage. There's Teha. There's a couple Tehas. I'll lose one. And grab a citizen. And next turn he can get two. He can probably arrange for that. I'll take five damage to Don for five damage to Ra. Don has not flipped, and normally I do not allow her to flip. So that would be weird if you were watching me play and she flips generally. Uh, I can lose a Throwing Knives. I'd rather have Haka keep the big hand for Haka battle. It's very rare that I would allow Susan Dawn to flip, and it would be if she draws, like if she plays all the really bad citizens right away that's the only case that that and I didn't have a way to like stop her from flipping that would be the only way that that happens so that's pretty rare that that happens uh do 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 yeah we could draw into the flame and hit everything for two since we want Haka to I mean I could throwing knives though by throwing knives that's enough Anyways, um, throwing knives is going to be uh, three, three, and three, and then Haka needs to hit two of them for three, so that's enough. So we'll just play Drawn to the Flame, and then we have it, and we'll hit Citizen Dawn, because there's not really any reason for me to play the other cards either. Monorail is going after Don and Haka. That's okay. Uh, yeah, let's play Throwing Knives. Let's have a look at the old infrared eyepiece. Must be playing Don wrong then. Well, you can learn about it. Watch and learn. Since Don deals herself to cold damage, do I have a way to get rid of that ongoing card? If I did, I'd be happy to let her play it. But I don't, so I might allow just have her play Citizen Tears. That makes us discard one card. We got lots of cards. And let's ping, ping, pong. Yeah, uh, 
Suhoi, if you are just destroying all the citizens, like, that is doing it wrong. That's playing it wrong. You want to look at the citizens and decide, do I need to destroy this citizen? Is it important for me to destroy it? So when Citizen Hammer came out at the start of the game, at the end of each round it deals each hero target three fire damage, it's important to destroy Citizen Hammer. That's not a good amount of damage to be taking to each hero target every round. Uh, citizen Spring, each citizen regains one HP. That is fine. The lowest hero, all hero ongoing cards, destroy all ongoing cards is controlled by the hero with the lowest HP. Sometimes that's really bad. Sometimes that does nothing at all. Um, or Citizen of Blood does literally one damage. Leave him alive. He's not doing anything. Uh, you know, there are others like Citizen Truth. That is the worst. Uh, Citizen of Winter, also pretty bad. Uh, but then, you know, there are several like Citizen Battery or Citizen Assault. If only one of them is around, don't, why destroy them? They don't, do they do very little. So what if they're hitting you for one damage? Your heroes, you can take it. Uh, and I'm destroying these ones because I have a way to keep them out of the villain trash. They're going under savage mana. That's the only reason I'm destroying them. Otherwise, I would leave them there and focus on the objective, which is Citizen Dawn. But the only reason I'm putting them under there is because I'm going to get a big attack out of that later. And I can safely do that because I have the Wraith blocking Devastating Aurora. So there's a few things going into that decision. Or normally I would just leave them. Yeah, her citizens are not all bad. Probably like about half of them are pretty inconsequential. So if you're always destroying them and making her flip, you are making the game way harder on yourself than you need to. Like none of them are good, but most of them are inconsequential. Like half of them, not most of them, I guess. Like this one, each player discards one card. Like, yeah, that's not great, but Especially at this stage in the game, I wouldn't worry about it. At the start of the game, probably, I would worry more about it. Oh, right. Please, like, boy, where did the police backup go? We discarded a card, so they disappeared. Uh, yeah, as I said, Mega Computer, not going to be needed, so let's get rid of that. Citizen Terrors is, yeah, she's bad. She's like on the cusp of being the worst. Like, depend like here we are with like seven or eight cards in hand. I wouldn't worry about getting rid of her now. But yeah, especially because like I can now draw three cards. It's always a balance. If she's like out there at the start of the game, I definitely would focus her because uh, you don't want to be taking, losing a quarter of your options every round. Ra's got lots of cards now. He has a card that let him draw. He has six cards in his hand now. Come on. Uh, I don't really have anything better to do than throat jab. I guess tier, yeah. Haka can just Haka of Battle to pick up Citizen Tears there, so. I may as well. Well, Monorail is going after Dawn and Ra again. You know what? I'm happy with it to hit. As long as it's not hitting two heroes, like taking five hit points off of Dawn is okay with me. Now she has Blinding Blast coming up. You can be like, sure, Blinding Blast. A return with the Dawn would literally bring back Citizen to Hammer, because that's the only card in the trash. Uh, and Summer would deal the exact same amount of damage and be harder to kill slightly. So, But then we still have a return with the Dawn sitting around. So it can be Citizen Summer. And let's attack the objective. All right, I need to hack a battle for two. It's kind of
kind of silly having so many copies of the Hakka Battle just sitting in my hand. Yeah, another thing that a lot of people don't really get is like using the Hakka cards judiciously. Like I see a lot of people like save them to have one big attack, but like you can use it to do plus one damage in an important moment. And you should, because it also gives you card draw. They are very versatile cards. Or like use, I often will use shielding for just blocking two damage, but sometimes I know, you know, what the villain's going to do, or say this monorail is going to hit Haka for five damage, I can discard two cards and I'll know what's going to come up. So you got to take advantage of what you know that's going to happen. I mean, obviously there's lots of unknowns, but... And yeah, we actually almost hit Don too low, and I would have screwed that up, but here we are where we are higher than Don. And we cannot play cards. So it goes. And Don can't deal her tiny damage. Uh, yeah, Ra's not immune to fire. Let's give it to Akka. We might have the win here. How much do we have under Savage Mana? Well, it doesn't really matter what I do here, does it? Uh, eight. And Tornado is four. That's 12. Yeah, we have the win, so. We will just win now because the Wraith can do a silly amount of damage and so can Haka and so can Ra. Uh-oh, we're going to have five citizens in the trash. <laughs> but she doesn't flip until the start of her turn. And she's not going to make it there. Just destroy all the cities. <laughs> there you go. Well, factoring in my uh, quiz game, that was about an hour and a half for me to beat all the court game villains. Oh, Voss, Voss was definitely like shorter than normal. Uh, he just didn't really do much. Let's see, Omnitron was fairly typical, Blade was very typical, Dawn was fairly typical with the teams, and Voss just didn't do anything. Guess where the pitch is going to hit, exactly. All right. Uh... So I don't think it would be fair if I did a guessing game now, since I literally just played a game with all the decks um, from the core game, uh, which is uh, available salesman mode for free, 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 free. It's one of these. It's one of these things. There you go. Get Sentinels for free on Google Play and iOS uh, for iPhone, iPad, Android tablets, Android phones. Doesn't work on your watch, doesn't work on your TV, Apple TV or anything yet, but maybe someday. Uh, from today until Thursday, uh, so make sure to check that out. Uh, it's never been free like this before. Like it's, We've had a free weekend where you could just play it during that weekend. But this, you know, if you download it on your Android or uh, iPhone, you get to keep it for free. So uh, take advantage of that and try Sentinels out. Uh, we're, you know, looking to get more people into the game and playing online uh, and uh, into the community. So if you're part of the community already, make sure to welcome all the new players. There's going to be lots of people coming in and being like, 
Why is Citizen Dawn impossible? I remember that Steam thread where someone was like, this game is broken and Citizen Dawn is impossible and there's no way to win. Well, there is a way to win, but it's not, it's not easy. You watch, you've seen me sort of tear apart, take apart the core game villains like their tissue paper here, but it takes many years to, uh, to acquire those skills. So it's a game with a lot of depth. It's a game that has a lot of variety. Uh, Clyde Strafe, uh, there's currently a discount for playing it on phone. It is free on phone. So feel free to go download the core game for free on your phone. Diff McCuff, does it work on Amazon Echo yet or on your fridge? Uh, it is on Amazon App Store for Android, so on your Kindle it can work, or your Fire Phone if you have one. I think it might work on that, I'm not sure. That's, I don't think they make those anymore. Uh, if your fridge supports uh, Google Play apps, uh, it will work on Chromebooks. Uh, we actually have a promotion on Chromebooks uh, from Google Play, have been promoting it. Uh, if your fridge, you know, can run Steam or Google Play apps, or if you have an iFridge that doesn't exist, but maybe you're a secret Apple engineer that has an iFridge, then maybe it would work. I don't know. Let us know if it works in your fridge. Uh, cool. All right. So uh, that's going to do it, I guess. Um, I'm still potentially up for playing another game. Let me... Uh, Use the bathroom and think about it. And what's good bathroom music? Madame Mittermeier's Fantastical Festival. Maybe I'll play uh, one more game with expansions. So I'll be right back. All right, bonus round. Let's all have fun in the fun house. Ultimate match, says Lou Dolphin. We made cookies. They have chocolate and brown butter. Are they good, Brittany? No? They're garbage. All right. I'm gonna eat my garbage cookie. Uh, I'm going to turn my decks back on because you're getting the Core Game of Sentinels. Look at all these expansion packs you can also get. 
can get expand the core game by more than three times. All right, I'm gonna turn it on ultimate. And while I eat my cookie, I'm gonna look at what the chat is telling me I should do and then arbitrarily decide. So I'm gonna mute so you don't hear me with my cookie. That was a good cookie. It has very, it's like a very smoky flavor almost with the brown butter. It has score, score bar chunks in it. Score is a Canadian chocolate bar that has um, like a butter toffee, crunchy butter toffee uh, with chocolate. Only three heroes have an environment. You could use the request for your point labras if you want to be the one to make sure I play one, or just throw in the chat, that's fine too. I'll try the point elabra thing another time, maybe too. Be like, point elabras, use your pointies, pointies. Is it Mittermeyers? Lou Dolphin requested. All right, what's your request, Lou? Do you have to write it in? Nude was first. He requests. Oh, it doesn't have a text input? Okay. I'll tell Krista. Nexus of the Void. Sorry, Sparky Wolf. I will return your points to you. Rowles is saving their point libraries for a guest appearance. Cool. Uh, all right, any other hero suggestions or just the three? I'm okay with just three. It's actually kind of easier. And we're on ultimate, which is bad times. Uh, I'm just gonna let Krista know that the uh, can you add a text input option for the Pointer Labra? I 
I assume that's an option if Lude said it was, or maybe Lude's just trolling. If that's not real, blame Lude. I mean... Uh, we'll get into what the ultimate is in a second here. Hopefully she doesn't do anything that would affect it. Play birds, birds or birds. Good. Oh, but yeah. There's a bird. It's a thing, Lude promises me. So advanced cohort, car cohort cards are indestructible, of which we have one. Domain cards are indestructible, which haven't been played yet. Also bad. On the flip side, we can destroy cohorts on the flip side but increased her damage to heroes by one. Domain cards remain indestructible. And she only flips when she reshuffles, which sucks. This is really rough to have Munin come out in the first turn and be indestructible, so we just have to sort of deal with it. Uh, it's okay. I like a challenge Epiku. Uh... So, Mask of the Matriarch is always the first priority here. Um, so I'm tempted to go with Flyby and base player just get the most damage out. Uh, setback could do two damage. Harpy, yeah, so this is three damage, two damage is five. Can Harpy do four? Uh, she can do three and then her base power. So she can we can actually take out the mask which might do nothing but also might oh and this could also be good but also hurt us a lot uh we still want to fly by though i think and yeah munin i'm gonna still hit munin because he won't be indestructible once he flips uh, we probably want to play that hardware, right? So let's play that hardware. Um, this team doesn't have a way to completely like block her damage output. And right now it's two damage per bird, uh, which is not great. Or destroy a bunch of your stuff, which can be okay. But benchmark can get like minus one, right? So like we can make it not hurt so much or at all if Munin is gone. Uh, so I think we want to reckless rush here. And setback might get other damage. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, nope. Oh wait, he did have just exactly three tokens. That's nice. So. Benchmark will do one damage and draw a card. He can't really hit anything else without the bird. And that's interesting. So this gives us other options. I don't want to play Kong of because I don't want to hit all the birds. I could uh, go with Magical Bequest. Uh, or Mystical. Yeah, I mean, Mystical at first makes sense for me to go with and just, like, do damage. Because this ongoing... The power doesn't really... I guess I could... Then you have it. I have it. We may as well hit. If I do this, I can... You can see I'm talking a lot more about my game here because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I kind of want to say Mystical Outburst for, like, a better use because I can use this and this to do four damage. Sorry, just this to do two damage. But I can use it twice, so I can take out the mask without doing card-based damage, basically. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, so let's just play this, because we have it. And it might be useful to have Calling the Flock for that area damage, so I'm going to discard one of these. I mean, I may discard a card, but I don't think I need two of those. I mean, not to be a Jeremy, but... I want other options that are different. Uh, oh yeah. I can play an ongoing card, because playing this, I deal a damage. 
and I only need to deal the one damage. And this gives me my sort of ping engine that I can't use against the matriarch here, but I can use against her other things. Yeah, good round. Got got rid of the mask. All right, this is going to kill birds as soon as they enter play, so that's fun. <laughs> Did you choose this loot specifically to go against the Matriarch? And also because of all the increase to projectile damage that this environment does? Uh, this deals the highest two, this deals everyone except the lowest, this deals except the highest, so this is the correct choice. Chose it because of Spirit Island, fair. Uh, yeah, let's take the damage here. That cookie was good. I'm going to have another cookie soon. And a carrion field. Great. Yeah, we definitely want our minus one and we want our redirect damage for benchmark. That's going to be key here. This discarding for one HP is also really good. Um, and he's he's going to be central to like winning the game, I think, with his abilities. Uh, so I think deployment actuation. We don't really need the hardwares that we've got. This one lets us play softwares, which is nice. Uh, but we don't. We want other hardwares besides the ones we have. Um, this is a really good one too, but we don't really have a good use for it right now. So let's look for a new hardware. Infernal Missile Pod, that's not really going to do much, but we can at least hit the carrion fields to no effect. Uh, countermeasures is really dangerous because it blows up birds. Might not be what we want, but multi-point HUD lets us increase damage. And that goes really well with that... Uh, with the missile pod. So let's deal one damage. Oh yeah, she only played the carrying fields, right? Because the mask was gone, so that was pretty good. When I Once I start getting a plus one, I can be hitting the matriarch a little bit. All right, I can play a software card. Oh yeah, this does, this lets me do irreducible damage, so that's good too. Do I have to I just choose a target. All right. I think the plus one here is going to be more useful. All right. Here I can add a bunch of tokens or play cards that don't do anything. So let's do that. Benchmark likes to have, likes to have cards in his discard as well. Whoops. Sorry. Well, I guess we're destroying glass peaks which is fine because it's kind of dangerous for us to have that. Uh, we don't really need magical bequest. This lets me draw a card, I guess, which is useful because, I guess it is useful. Let's just flip a token to magic if we're doing magic. I'm probably gonna play this though, right? And then like use it. That's gonna be my turn. And I'd rather keep benchmark set up, so. That's the weakest link. And I don't have to destroy this, but I want to. Let's add tokens. Lou Dolphin, you will never have a streaming loss. You are invincible. Uh, yeah, again, these I could mystical outburst just to hit the matriarch for five or whatever, but that's not really productive right now. Let's use the Ancient Tome to get an ongoing card in my hand, and I can play it. So, Applied Numerology is good. Swift Summoning is also good. Both of these are good. This keeps Seth back a little more alive, so 
Let's play that one first. Increase all HP recovery by one and increase damage dealt by the birds by two. Oh no. <laughs> I want the other biome back. Oh, this is hitting everyone for, except the lowest for three. Ouch. Uh, Harpy's the least healy, so I guess she's going to get hit by the other one for more. So that was. Not productive. All right, bird time. Yeah, that biome. Oof. Well, there go our ongoing guards. Never said this would be easy. Uh. I put cards in the missile pod. I lost my software though. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. That only worked on two birds because we were super lucky, but now it's going to be on three birds. And that's basically giving us like a ton of extra damage against us. Like a ton of extra damage against us. So I think it's time to kill all the birds with calling the flock. Um, and so the question is what benchmark is probably going to most of the time be the highest. He's going to want this, right? So I don't need to hit birds but I may as well because my thing is once a turn so I should hit birds on different turns if I can oh also carrying fields uh, yes this is, this is gonna be rough Let's put software in our trash. Yes, put it in the missile pod. I do regain lots of hit points because I regain plus I get three hit points by discarding a card. But then this thing is going to kill the other heroes, <laughs> and I can't destroy it. Play a software card. Uh, I guess this lets us hit the matriarch a little bit. Oh. Oh right, that was it's like what got destroyed? It was the missile pod. Yeah, the thing is, this hits everyone except the target with the highest HP. Uh, looking up is gonna start hitting. Uh, so I'm gonna use exceed expectations so that I can hit the matriarch and Munin and a bird. Because remember, she will. We can destroy Munin when she flips. And sure, that can go first. Benchmark is always going to be the highest. Because even if he gets hit for two here, he's going to discard a card. He can discard softwares basically, because he can get them back pretty easily. Put them in his missile pod, regain three hit points. Well. Little heal. And yeah, we can't have this. We can't have this hitting the birds. It's still going to hit the carrion fields, which is bad enough. Um, but hitting the birds is just a real bad idea. Um, I could play this, but I wouldn't be able to kill all the birds, so it has to be this, fortunately. I think it's in my deck. All right. Yeah, hit the carrying fields for all the good deck guards. 
And I think this is always... Oh, right, this also has two shooting <laughs> Sure. Right, Benchmark can only do this one more time. Uh, because he does bonus ultimate game, yeah. He can only discard the first time each turn. So he's still going to take the damage, though, because he's got health. And it doesn't, this isn't going to matter because he doesn't get low enough. All right, I think that's probably the best we could have done there. Uh, should be, yeah, let's just get another equipment card or ongoing card. The Flock's Care reduced damage dealt to the Harvey by non-hero targets by one. That would have been nice to have added to, like, earlier. Uh, yeah, like, that's really good. Play that now, play that later. May as well play it now. It doesn't go away. Some of her ongoings do go away. I mean, she she already played both of her ongoing destruction cards, right? She doesn't have them right now, so. Uh, let's see. If I flip that, I could power up the missile to outburst to do a pretty decent amount of damage. This is about having, yeah, again, one damage doesn't really help me a whole lot. Elder Training is nice. That would be an option for next turn. Um, so this is basically one damage to the Matriarch or flip a token, but I'll probably flip the token here, like if I when I play that, because I'll probably play that instead of the other thing. So let's just do the damage. Slowly attack the villain. <laughs> All right, so this is going to increase carrion fields, which is terrifying, but also the matrix, also the harpy, which is great. Right? It's three targets. Minion? Oh, it's minion or huge and minion. <laughs> okay. Increase damage dealt by Munin or Huge Munin or Magma's Rage by two. So this card or this card or Magma's Rage. So actually, Karen Fields did not get it, which is very important. Uh, Benchmark can discard a card. Uh, I don't want to discard any of these, but three hit points, though, right? And also put it in the pod. So, yeah. She plays a bird. She plays all the birds. Yeah, that happens. That's the thing that happens. Time to kill the mask again. And maybe all the birds, because the harpy won't take any damage. Setback will t be taking damage. I think we need to do the same thing where we just like hit the birds a little bit. Software card from trash into play. I really want the minus one damage to benchmark. That would be great. There's only like a one in four or five chance of getting though. Overhaul doesn't really do me anything right now. Um, yeah, I mean, benchmark is in HP. It's the other team members that are getting down, but do I have the redirect? I don't have the redirect. If I had the redirect damage thing, that would be really good. I could get it with this. There's a chance I could get it with this and be able to play it in, and that would save like damage. Basically that ends up going to setback or harpy quite a bit. And also this could find the hardware. This is better than deployment, I think. Microfabricator. I like that. I like flyby. Except I can only play hardware and software here, not the other thing. So let's return the communicator. 
think I want my healing and then I can play the fabricator to then play the other thing. Cause I don't, I don't need that power. Yeah, still not getting exactly what I want, but. And here, as long as I have enough damage to destroy the mask by the right time. This is going after Benchmark. That sucks. But it is what it is. We could destroy it if we wanted to. Um, I don't think it's that important. I think like I need to kill the birds one at a time. Like ideally so Benchmark can discard a card each turn. And Yeah, that domain is just chipping away at everyone forever. But like, I can't allow these to go off. We can't, I don't know if we can, we can uncontrollable flock, potentially. Let's uh, just hit the worst of these. Uh, I guess if we choose for Savannah Nocturne, if there's ones that have Da, da, da. Or if we get the if we get the carrion fields and Munin down to one hit point, we can choose, or we can choose Munin to be the one that gets the increase. That card also might just go away. There's one of these that deals just the highest. There's one. Of, this one deals the lowest too. I definitely don't want him to get the boost or be available for getting the boost. So he's going. Yes, sure. Deal me two damage. Uh, I'm going to be playing this, which doesn't put software from the trash, so I like having software in my trash, except it's out of the pod, which we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, oh, and this hits you again immune, so it's actually only one damage to set back in terms of cards we super care about. Countermeasures. Oh right, here I'm still playing. Oh no, this is end of turn. Play a software card. What? Oh yeah, this. Okay. Countermeasures. Actually, you know what? Destroying one of these on the villain turn is okay. So I just have to make sure to remember to do it right. So I'm gonna do it and it's probably gonna be dangerous, but you know what? And these are going after the masculine right chart. It's fun, but also deadly. Wish I had my plus one for that. Uh, let's play our hardware card, which lets me get another software into play. I may discard a card if I wish, but Basically, that's into the Inferno pod for next turn. I don't think I super need this, so that can go in. Oh, I need, I need, I'm gonna go back because I need cards to discard for healing. I don't want to discard ones I don't. So maybe I don't want to play this while I run out of cards to discard. I might run out of cards to discard. Where's the one that lets me draw five cards? Do I not have that anymore? I think I lost it. Do I not have it? The one that lets me draw five. Oh, if you have five or fewer, fewer cards in hand, right. Which I don't. No mint. No, don't worry about a mint here. The thing is with countermeasures, it can be really dangerous because a whole bunch of birds could get destroyed on the villain turn. It would save. I mean, overall, that's probably better than the alternative. I'll still play that. Uh, yeah, those. I'm gonna hit the mask. And basically, I don't want to discard this bonus card because. Yeah, is there? I want load on a knit. That's a good software to get. So. It lets me uh, draw more cards and potentially play other softwares if I happen to draw them. So, uh, okay, let's play that flash installation. 
I'm not going to discard though because I want to discard for hit points. And I can play Lota Knit here. Oh yeah, I could have played countermeasures for my trash instead, but I have them both now, so we'll see. Uh, okay. So again, I do want to kill a bird um, each turn if I can. Uh, Setback does have looking up. I also want to make sure to kill the mask before uh, the villain turn. Does she have any area damage going on right now? I don't think so. That's one target. This is potentially multiple targets. Um, if I can get the more um, bird tokens, I get the more. So I have one bird token right now. This, if I play this, then I would have lots of bird tokens, but I can't also play this. Oh, no, I can if I use Ancient Tome. Okay. So I can do that and kill some birds. Uh, this can, this is going to let me kill the, the mask, right? Because that's going to be uh, I'm going to flip three, and it'll be plus one, so that's four damage, so I need to do one damage to the mask. But I get to do one minute at the end of the turn. Okay. Just want to make sure what I can, what I'm doing with setback here. So I can use looking up and hit a bird, is basically the calculus. And we'll get rid of the ones that deal each hero target, I think, now. Those are bad. Uh, sure, that can go out first. Take a discard the software. Put it in the pod. Gain three hit points. He's going to be a full. <laughs> I might want to... Well, I'll be taking more damage on the Matrix turn here, probably. Uh, okay. So, we were going to do Mystical Outburst and then play this using that power, yeah. So, four damage to the Mask. Uh, we're going to use this power. Uh, let's take that Applied Numerology back. But we're gonna... Oh wait, oh, I have the wrong number of tokens. Oh, we still get damage from a huge minion, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, I also am now don't have minus one damage, but I hit things back. So let me think, that might not have been. I know I revealed new information, but I don't know if that's what I want, because I don't know if I want that to have been what happened, you know what I mean? Like, this gives me two damage, this gives me two damage. I have to make sure to kill the Mask of the Matriarch. I feel like that's important. can do this. This flips them all to magic. Draw a card, use a power. I can use this to find a card. Play an ongoing card. I also get to use this power and do two damage here and do one damage because of the one damage on this. Okay. So that's how I can do it without knowing the cards I'm going to reveal. So I do know that I'm revealing a card that lets me do more damage, but I'm not planning. I can use that information. Uh, so we'll do that. Don't destroy a card. I mean, I could destroy a card to flip, but I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Uh, oh, I did get Calling the Flock. I can't play it right now. Uh, I was thinking Applied Numerology is going to let us... 
Oh, right, I can do either one. But So instead of uncontrollable flock, um, I can use Applied Numerology to do one more damage with my base power. And get to the five that we need. It's ultimate. It's fine, Lude Dolphin. I didn't get to destroy a bird, so there's that downside. What? Oh, I forgot. Huge immunity, plus four damage. I do get to. I do get to kill a bird. Oh, except. Yeah, I can do this. I can go change to this to two targets. I totally forgot that uh, Huge Immune had plus, plus damage. Uh, is there, what's the one that deals, this is except the high, da, 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 just the highest. Right, so I want to go after the one that except, except the highest. I should remember these. This is gonna be a hard one. Like, can you remember which foul card does which thing for the memory game? Because <laughs> I sure can't. I will try though. Uh, accept the highest. Those are the ones we want to go because countermeasures will take care of the other ones. Yes, this is bad. This happens. Deal damage. Benchmark discards. Oh, these are painful. I don't have to discard a card, but I will discard oh, one card here because I really want to be able to do flyby and I don't have to do flyby. Flyby is like fine, but yeah, sorry, flyby. Deal two damage, which is four damage. When's she reshuffling? <laughs> All right, a new biome that doesn't power up the birds. Good. That was one of the troubles. Is the birds were going to get powered up. Um, I may discard a card here. I kind of want to keep these because I really want to get... Yeah, that was just Magma's Rage hitting me anyways. Destroy all their biomes. Each non hair target with an even amount of HP regains 2 HP. Oh, that's non here. Then each hero with an even amount of hit points. Oh, so I actually want to regain it. I want to discard here so I have an even amount of hit points. <laughs> oh, no, but the, oh, the plus one is gone, so I don't end up with even, so skip. Uh, only setback can use a power, and it's... Yeah, it's three damage. Benchmark already took damage, so he can't... Uh, discard anymore. Um, thinking if I should kill a bird here or... I don't think I'll kill a bird here. I think, should I punch or should I use my base power? Basically, if I add three tokens, I'm going to be at 10, so I'm hitting myself, which I don't want to do. So let's play the top card of my deck and what could happen. Another copy of looking up, sure. All right, so here, countermeasures is going up on all of these. So we'll choose the matriarch here first. Because, is there anything that I feel comfortable destroying? You know what, I want all those things and I have lots of help. And I'll discard one of these. Yeah, these are still going up. Benchmark might be the only target around after a while. Yeah, if I had too many tokens, I would hit myself twice. <laughs> so I have to manage my tokens for sure. Alright, benchmark, taking a little damage. Man, I really wish 
Champion and hadn't come out on the first turn, this would be a very different game. I think. Yes, more birds and then probably darken the sky. Yup. We'll have to look at her deck and see what's potentially up. All right, so yeah, we still have huge in and dark in the sky before she, I mean, I could let her play more cards with Mark of Mask of the Matriarch if I want her to flip. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe it is. Just let her do it. Uh, since she has the mask, she would get to, she wouldn't reshuffle this turn. Unless we like were able to make her reshuffle by discarding the top card of her deck or something, if setback could do it. Woof. Okay, I will draw a card. All right, I could play shunt energy or yeah, I need that minus one. That's gonna really make or break it here. And it might be. Is that it? That's it. Okay. These. If I have this, benchmark can just kind of like be on his own and win the game. Uh, I think. So, move. Oh, yeah, there, intervening path. That is what I want. That's what saves setback. And I can't play it right now, but I can play it. Oh, wait, can I play it from my hand? The. This one puts suffer from my trash. Actually, I need that one to not be the one that I draw. I need to keep that in my trash so that that other one can play it. Uh, so I'll draw something I might want later, or that I might not want later, because... <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'll probably discard it anyways, right? Uh, I don't know. I can kill all the birds with calling the flock. What does this do? Heals her back to full. Setback can exceed expectations enough so that looking up won't kill him. Um, that's going to be six damage against the mask, and we've got yeah we've got the mask right here. Assuming we want to kill the mask, which I think we still do. It's not clear. It might be better to let the mask die so we can kill the cohorts, but... So... What's this going after now? Still benchmark? Second highest. It's gonna be benchmark. I guess we should try to kill this thing. Putting tokens on it. Oh yeah, I still want to kill a bird though, right? Basically each turn, kill a bird, so my power should kill a bird. Because I think all the heroes except for... Oh, they're dead. Okay, they were alive, and now they're dead. Uh, so, where's the one that hits the lowest? That one. Carrion Fields goes after... RP for none. Oh, I don't have intervening path calculator yet. That's okay. Take one, just one damage now. I can discard this again. Yeah, put it in the pod. But it's in my trash, right? I did that right. Uh, destroy all these, hit the mask. Do I have a hardware card? Oh, I do have a hardware card. I like that hardware card. 
because it's going to go off. Uh, you may discard a card. I don't. As we've discussed, I can put Intervening Path Calculator into play. I can deal damage. Yeah, getting that down to three means setback is free to hit something else like the villain. I kind of want to kill this Magma's Rage. It's coming after me. And it's only doing one damage now. But I can like countermeasures it, right? If I if we do it a little extra damage, like doing one damage to the matriarch at this point is not doing anything. Uh, yeah, let's exceed expectations. We need to make sure not to get up to ten, so I need to do at least two. Uh, I can hit Magma's Rage, Massive Matriarch, a bird, that's three, and the villain. Four, Munin, five, sure. I don't need the tokens right now, so. May as well do some hits. Carrion Field is really never, I mean, there might be edge cases with the environment where it makes sense, but. Uh, the one that does each villain, each hero target. Oh, the one that does the lowest HP. That's the one I want to get here. Yeah, carrying fields. Okay, so now setback sends it over, and I say yes, and it goes. Nothing happens. Okay, let's take one damage. Discard a software. Will this turn into a benchmark on his own, but still dominating game? Quite likely. Uh, let's do damage. Yeah, we can now kill the Magma's Rage. Unless, like, Harpy was going to get it down to, like, one. Or two. If she, it's down to two, it will then, like, go after benchmark and get destroyed. So... Um, I'm okay not bothering with that, if that makes sense. That would be basically if I call the flock, I think. Which would kill all the birds. Which isn't great. I want to sort of spread them out if I can. Though honestly, no one's taking any damage except Benchmark taking like one at a time. So it's a good time to do it now while we're relatively safe. And he'll still be, even if they're swing all these, he'll still be the, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's just hit Munin. The closer it is to zero, the easier it'll be to deal with when she flips. Or like if it's negative, even better. All right, calling the flock, trash. And let's hit everything and the order doesn't matter. I don't think this is just, I mean, this is gonna hit, yeah, okay. Yes, redirect one damage. Fujin and Minin are going to take some hits, but... And Benchmark's going to take one at a time. Uh, again, would I rather have... What do my things do? Either draw a card or play a software card. So I'm going to just draw a card instead. Um, I would really like to have this plus one damage card, though. So I'm just going to not... I want to have both of these going. I mean, I don't need flyby, do I? I could return it to my hand, though, if I play it. Yeah, let's see where I am. I can always, maybe I can't always, you know what? We'll come back to that. I don't think, I'm, I'm only taking one damage each time, right? This is choose for me, and it's yes. 
This is too smarmy. I think we just hold tab now. That's pretty minimal damage, even with her plus one. And if she didn't have the plus one, this would be all zero. Except for uh, huge enemy and taking the one damage. And they're still alive. Uh, yeah. Um, Magma's Rage is going to try to kill Benchmark. And Countermeasures is going to say no. So I think we can look for an Ancient Tome. Yeah. Versus doing like one damage to something. I guess if I do one damage to Munin. If I do one damage to Munin, then... Oh, Fusion Munin can do one damage. Okay. Yeah, the Harpy does the damage. Oh yeah, interesting. Two ongoing cards are revealed, or three or more control tokens. So I can choose from three token, three cards basically instead, because I definitely have enough tokens. I don't know if I've used that with that. So we have another copy of Applied Numerology, which we don't need, so it's gonna be Conjured Aura. Deal up to three targets, one infernal damage each. Cool. I think there's that, or there's this, which flips a token and then does projectile damage at the end of my turn. I think this is more with what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, let's hit Munin so it won't heal from Jade Estuary. And Benchmark's going to get to use a power, so... Probably, depending on what the environment plays, might play something to get rid of that. Oh, hey! This is going to kill birds for us. This environment likes to kill birds. Matriarch's not back at full, but she's she's getting there. I don't have another power, but I may as well use my base power to draw a card. And is Reclusive Keeper, like, helpful to us? Deal that target 2 melee damage, reduce damage dealt by that target by 2, so that birds don't deal their own damage, so that's not really helpful for us. Um, so, yeah. I hit you. I guess I could hit... I could hit another hero <laughs> to let them use a power, but I don't think that's wise right now. All right, bird. Right. Okay, so this like straight away. So we should let her play all the cards so that if she plays Dark in the Sky, it doesn't bring the same cards right back out. Dark in the Sky will look at what's in the trash right now when it gets played. It might not matter, but it could matter. Yep, so this means those will go away now and they won't come back with Dark in the Sky immediately. I think. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. All right. Uh, yes. Benchmark takes a psychic damage. Uh, I don't want to discard that. That's so good. Power at the start. I actually want... These cards are crucial to what I want to do, so I'm going to not discard. Take a little damage this turn from the Keeper business. Is this, is this going to kill all of them? Which is fine, I guess, but it's going to hurt. Oh no, it's only the it's only the very first time. Oh, okay. I thought it was on every the first time. Okay. Not as not as bad as I thought. All right. If we play multi-point HUD, we get to use it during our power phase. So And also we get to use this. Uh we can 
here. Hit the matriarch. Oh, hit the mask. Uh, so she's only got two cards left. So she's going to play either Hugin or Building of Rooks, and that's it on her turn. So we're kind of safe from Dark in the Skies shenanigans right now. And we're pretty immune from killing all these things, so we should kill all the things. If we can. I don't know if we have any area damage right now. Is environment kill the first for... Yeah, she's going to play... Hugin or right or Hugin or Felon Hugin right, but she's not going to reshuffle, is the operative thing. So this isn't actually as bad as I was worried about. So we may as well hit her for one damage then. Uh, Munin is, you know what? I'm going to hit Munin <laughs> because oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to play Flyby. So and hit the. Mask. I'll have another damage with my base power. I want to get Muni to zero, so once she flips, it is destroyed. Oh, but then it's going to get brought back by the other bird of all. Oh, yeah, that's probably... that's. I don't want... If it's destroyed immediately, then... When does she flip? When it's shuffled. Right, so then at the end of the turn, it would... Oh, yeah, the one that got destroyed would be in the trash and the other one would come back. Yeah, so we don't want that. Can you get Hugin down to zero in one turn? But the thing is, that would, Blue Dolphin, that would be on the villain turn, right? So she would play a card, she would try to play a card, reshuffle. At that point, Munin would be destroyed. At the end of the turn, Hugin would be like, oh, here you come back at full health. So they would both be destroyed. Well, right now, Hugin is at full health, and he will be at full health, presumably. Oh, do you think, can I get Hugin down to zero in this round? Like, because he's going to get played? I don't know. I don't have that. I don't have much to get through minus two damage, right? I have this, but I only have one of it. I have this tactical communicator, which would let me attack. Thing is, yeah, I need to make sure Munin. She's not gonna. I need to. Yeah, well, I would need to do it. I would need to. But Munin's still gonna be alive, even though. Yeah, that's. I need to do it the following round when they're both around. The following round when they're both around is when I need to do it, I think, because I only get one use out of, uh, I guess I could get, I could use uh, Tactical Communicator, Irreducible, Increased by 2, and Mystical Outburst, which does 5 damage. That's 7 damage. So if the stars align, I could use that and apply it to him. <laughs> she doesn't shuffle till she tries to play another card. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so if I can get them both down to zero, the question is, should I do that now? I can wait until it's not going to be this turn, right? It's going to be next round. So I can wait to get Munin, but then he'll have minus two himself. Okay. We're doing your crazy plan, Lude. And if it doesn't work, I'm blaming you. Uh, we'll do... The Keeper isn't as bad as I, as I thought, so he's fine. Let's play. You know what? This, I can just play with my free play. So, my free hardware, it doesn't do anything, right? So I'm gonna keep it. Return this to my hand. All right, I can use a power to increase my damage, and I get another power to do one target, two damage. Uh, here we hit a bird, I think. They don't have any more damages. 
So we hit a bird. So we can discard this threat neutralizer. I want the one that hits the lowest. I mean, I, it's going to redirect, so I don't know if that's actually... It doesn't super matter, does it, anyway? Yeah, by a huge enemy, and you are not going to make it. I can discard that into the missile pod. Yeah, and this, uh, I think the mask is dead now, or at one. Yeah, at one. I can play a hardware card. I don't want to discard without getting health for it. I can play a software from my trash, but I reshuffled. Do I want that? I mean, I have lots more hardware. I may as well have it, I guess. Uh, okay, wow. Basically, all of these are going to blow themselves up on benchmarks, countermeasures. So, I wish I had another. I wish Huge Mutant wasn't here. Uh, and they're going to go off before Huge and May come into play, so that there's at least that. Uh, I could Reckless Rush for one damage to benchmark. Or Surprising Fortune for benchmark to draw more cards. Honestly. Harpy's going to have a damage somewhere on her turn, so... I think we want Benchmark. Benchmark needs cards all times. What is this doing anyways, the Jade Estuary? Oh, it's still doing the healing thing. That's benchmark right now. Uh, up to three targets, one infernal damage each. Oh, perfect. So here we can destroy a bird and the mask. Uh, we may as well destroy as many birds as we can. Uh, except the highest is the... Yeah, this is the one that deals just the lowest. I don't like that, just in case. And now this is just like doing nothing, right? Yes, redirect. Deal, I mean, benchmark takes one damage, is a thing, but. Let's him gain two hit points and put a card in the missile pod, so could be worse. Uh, Kuzunoki zero is an odd number. That's not anything to do with this game, that's how math works and how numbers work. So Did I say an odd number? It's an even number. Did it, what did I say? I don't just like second guessing myself. It's an even number. <laughs> oh, Louis has an even amount of HP, right? So Jade Estuary is going to heal it. Why would you got to be like that? Lou Dolphin so you're saying I should hit Munin for one damage. I can do that. Uh, so I don't need Mystical Outburst. Uncontrollable Flock is not really doing anything, but might do something someday. <laughs> We're getting to the point where I don't know how to play the Harpy. Uh, this basically gets me away from magic, but then lets me do some more damage. But I don't really want that. And this gets my things all the way back to bird, which I also don't want. So I'm just going to not play this because I don't want to be doing this. I want to none of these. So let's just play the Ancient Tome. And then I can use it twice in a turn if I happen to have it. But I want to 
get the... Right, let's do two target. Munin needs to be at odd hit points. And for that matter, so does the Matriarch. There you go. All the villain targets are at odd hit points except carrying field, which can never die. All right, uh, also Benchmark doesn't have that card anymore because his trash reshuffled. I don't know if you noticed that, Lude Dolphin. It, it's gonna fail, so we're blaming Lude. We might have some Maybe we want Munin to heal then. Do we want Munin to heal then? <laughs> Damn it, John. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we want to not hit Munin so that he does heal and survives. <laughs> I don't know. I think I didn't have the choice to reshuffle. It happened. It was a card. It was a forced draw that reshuffled my trash, I think. It was... The, uh, maybe this. I didn't have any hardware, so I had to draw a card. So I could have... Yeah, I think that's what happened. Or this other... Uh, this might have forced a draw. So, in that case, we want Munin. Because I don't have it. It's your fault for choosing to play that two turns. I might get it. Uh, Harpy can still do... I just don't want Munin to, like... Yeah, I really don't want Munin to come back at full health. That would be... bad. I don't know how many turns it's been. It's been a while. I need to not have Munin come back at full health. So, I mean, this was still a risk because we didn't know that. I'm going to do this instead because I think that's better. Has it been 17 turns? Yes, 17 turns. Maybe not 17 rounds. Right. Uh, Swift Summoning. That's real good. Harpy Hex is also good, but I can't get through the minus damages, so... I feel like this is a power I might actually use. Alright, we're gonna... let Munin heal up. We can still hit Munin again. We can still do the thing, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. I get to use a power. Draw two cards, discard two cards. So it could happen here that I get the right software. Because I may as well do that. I didn't get it. Uh, I have countermeasures in play already. Yeah, these are all going in the pod. I have a multi-point hide. It's, I could get two. I feel like it's worth having two with my setup. I can play... Oh, but I could play load on it. Oh, I could play load on it and then play the other... Mul oh. oh. Someone jumped because of your sneeze, Britain. <laughs> she apologizes, but... I'm sure it's fine. Uh, yeah, definitely discard countermeasures. And these two... I can... I mean, I can always... I have another one of these. I can just play this at the start of my turn. I can just play... I have, uh, either draw a card or play a software card. Yeah, so... It's going to be this. Because I can't play two of those in one turn, so... Uh, and we can play load on a knit. And then at load on init time, I can double up. Okay. Uh, oh, now I can hit him down to one. And I can hit the matriarch. Oh, and I can hit a bird if I want to discard for heals. 
which I might not want to do. I mean, it's going to happen on the villain turn, so if I'm going to do it, it's the time. Mm. I want to play this, then I need a card to play on my turn, which is going to be this. So it doesn't matter if I do it now or then. So let's just hit the matrix. Also, environment shenanigans. What's do I never do? First time a biometrics play, okay. It kills birds, great. Uh, right. Oh, this doesn't even, oh, interesting. Oh, it just still does trigger countermeasures. Okay, so choose for me one damage. Discard flyby. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to get through the... Oh, I will be able to get through the damage reduction of... Because I'm going to have a plus. So I'm not discarding. I'm going to keep flyby. And kill Hugin and Munin on this round. That's right, I am, Lude. Alright, so... Am I going to get down... How many birds are there? I might get down low enough that... <coughs> Benchmark's no longer the highest. So I'm going to click through these. <coughs> I will say, well, let's just go through them until Benchmark's not the highest. He might, yeah, he's not going to be the highest at some point soon, so. I mean, he could destroy cards instead, but then the Harpy could destroy cards instead. And he's going to be able to heal back like nobody's business, so let him take a little damage. Yes, redirect it. All right, so... This, let this go first. No damage. She gets him down to 13. This goes after him. Blown up. This. Doesn't matter because they can't get through. All right, so now we get this. So she could, we could blow up a card like I have two ancient tomes literally right like destroy it do this part uh, and then again do we have a card we want to destroy because like if I don't if I take one damage, then the next time it's oh is this the last one? This is the last one. So benchmark can stop being the highest for a second. I think because I want her to keep the rest of the stuff. I mean he could destroy a card. He's got stuff he doesn't really need, like Intel Analyzer. Destroy that. Oh, right, there is one more. Okay, so. So this goes. Sure. And is there another card he wants to destroy? Probably not. Yeah, I think he wants to. She wants those cards, so let's just let Benchmark take the damage. Because maybe things will get better now. There's Hugin. So she's going to just play the single foul and then reshuffle. And then 
We don't know. Uh, so, first thing I want to do here is probably play. I want to. I have this. This is an order. So, load on an it at the start, then Legion Chords at the very end. So, what I should do is draw a card from the first one. Oh, wait. Oh, the other one is after. Oh, right, but I can use this. Yeah, I want to use the plus one damage power first. And then when I play the software card, I have the plus one. In play. Oh, yeah, there's that bug for this. So I can actually get him down. I don't even need flyby. Uh, I can hit him down. So I'm going to use one of them off flyby for that. So I should use one of these on Eugen and one of them on the matriarch then. And then for my play, Munin and Eugen. So as long as these are, oh, they need to be, he needs to be at minus one, doesn't he? Because of stupid this. <laughs> okay. Uh, start of turn. I mean, unless we can destroy that environment card. Setback could destroy it. Um, I mean, honestly, Benchmark might be able to destroy it, but we definitely can't have them healing back to not being destroyed. That would be bad. So first draw card. Use a power. Increase damage. Play software. I do have that other multi-point I can use. So I do want to hit him. Actually, just forget to make sure I hit these to get them down to negative. <laughs> I guess setback could also hit him, but I'm just want to make sure that we get it done. Uh, this guy just seems like a bad time. I guess he has a better chance of getting the Jade Estuary to do something. She's not... Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this guy. Play a card. Overhaul it. Alright, we want to get back the cooling systems, for sure. That's the only one that super matters. Uh, if we get that back in a software, we just like replay them. Um, I could bring this back so it goes after the load on initialization. So I get to play powers before I get to can use them. And let's bring just bring back, uh, I still want countermeasures and intervening path. So yeah, I'm just going to play the same cards again, basically, but with more damage now, so. Uh, okay. Unless I... I'm guessing I don't need load on it if there's something else better I found here. Oh, Tactical Communicator. Okay, so. I'm going to bring back those load on it. Let's just bring them back. And multi-point HUD I definitely want, so. All right. So let's get... Uh, onboard Cooling Systems and... Make sure we get Tactical Communicator because we want that now. And hit I guess we can just kill this guy and hit Eugen. Then we want to play uh, I forgot what we got. 
let's at least play load on it and one legion core and the other multi point and then i think that's it yeah now we get two powers so we can use my other increase do i have a lot under my missile pod only i have three i can actually wail on matriarch this turn sure so slightly wail on or i could just i mean I'll just hit the reclusive keeper. Let's just solve this problem. Make sure it's solved correctly. He's gonna be at zero and then set back and hit him and he's gonna be at minus one. Did you wanna wait for end of turn to play the hardware? I'm not gonna worry about that now. I could have, but it lets me draw a card instead, right? So that's okay. I have plenty of stuff going on. Um, yeah, I could play the other load on initialization here. And this isn't getting through to her, but it can get through to this guy. And I can keep, there's no birds around right now, so I may as well discard something for the missile pod. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's all right, Kusunoki. Uh, we can play a card. I like Intel Analyzer for getting cards in the missile pod. Auto targeting is okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Only 18 cards in play for Benchmark. Eight software, eight hardware. Uh, cool. So the Jade Estuary is not our favorite, but I don't know if I want to hit myself. I don't think, like, as long as we can get that to the level we want, then I'm not worried about it. So, um... The other rest of the environment deck is... Oh. This could make them regain two hit points. But then, actually, you know what? If there are two hit points, I'm honestly okay with that. Um, compared to anything else. It is actually worse that they're going to reshuffle and not be in the trash and gone. But So they could end up coming back right away. But I'm not going to like go out of my way to go back there. Let's just go with the way we're going and see. I would like to be at even hit points, but I don't have that ability right now. I could play an ongoing basically to soak for the matriarch. These basically don't do anything but hit benchmark. I mean, they don't have to hit benchmark. They, I could hit myself, but. Uh, so yeah, we'll just play friendly fire and use looking up to hit Eugen to minus. Uh, cards under the missile are in play, yeah. Because they are in play. Uh, I do not want to deal myself to melee damage, no. Hey, a healing card. Uh, this is, may as well hit the keeper. Don't hit setback. I don't know, hit that thing. Make it a target for the environment. Uh, flip two tokens, draw two cards. Yeah, I don't super need to be doing anything here. This keeper is slightly annoying. I mostly want to draw a card, so this seems fine. As long as I don't flip too many tokens over. Um, I like to have that minus one here, so I will still have that, so.
I can discard a card, but that's just like one damage and I don't have any boosts, so. Uh, right, so I have this Swift Summoning, which I can let people play cards, or I could get Harpy Hex into play, which I think I want to do next turn once Matrix damage reduction is gone. Um, so I think this reveal the top card of two hero decks. Let's reveal Benchmark and the Harpy. Flyby or Eldritch Training. So I have to play a one shot. So I'm going to lose my damage reduction. Actually, not if I play this. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to destroy my cards. I can use a power. Do I want to get one of these ongoings into play? Or do like meaningless damage? Uh, let's do this. I can't play that, but I could get another copy of my hand or just have another copy of this. Sure. This one is not the card I want. I have two cards in here. Oh, a way to get that guy back. So yeah, let me play this, discard this card I don't really want, and draw. Not calling the flock, but I draw it right now. This is turning into a marathon of a game. Wow, Elemental Awakening is super into Elemental Awakening. Uh, I guess I could just use, I actually have too much software or not enough. Is there more hardware I haven't played yet? Yeah, there's one, two. Just one. Uh, I could draw two cards, discard two, play software to get more into the missile pod. That seems best. I don't have to play a software card, and if, even if I do, I would lose uh, intervening path calculator, which I or no countermeasures, which I don't really need right now. I never actually needed it that much. Let's draw two, discard two. Hey, look. I hope you want to get... I literally only need one of these cards. Uh, so I'm going to discard them. There's one hardware card in my deck. And I can play... Uh, yeah, Ally Matrix combos well with... Uh, Missile pod, so. And that lets me do damage, uh, which I can't really. I can hit these things that don't really matter. Hm, no. Which would. I could then redirect it back to myself. Alright, the environment is doing its thing. Huge in destroys two cards. Well, good. I can destroy software I don't really want. Uh, definitely have more than I need. Like, I don't need countermeasures right now. And didn't the Harpy just play cards you didn't really need? Actually, Friendly Fire. We don't need. So she's not actually reshuffling yet. Oh, she is here. Right, so we want to not have Reclusive Cooper attack the thing here because right now she's at plus two damage, but as soon as she reshuffles, that those cards go away. Goodbye. And she plays a bunch of birds. Oh, right, so the Keeper could destroy... We could choose which one the Keeper destroys, I guess. By choosing the order of things. Oh, and she... Oh, that was perfect. All right, now is the turn that we wail on the matriarch. 
Uh, oh, oh, interesting. Because of the advanced rule, that's increased damage to benchmark. But that's okay. I have cards to discard. I don't need that. She may flip a token because she took damage. And then there's this other card that after she's dealt damage by not her target, if there's three or more bird tokens, she hits it back. I don't really care about hitting that target back though, so let's flip back to. Yeah, redirect to. I've honestly, the number of times I've played the matriarch flip side, I could count on one hand. Um, especially on, on this, so. She regained one hit point whenever foul enter place her. Uh, when it's destroyed, she deals the hero target lowest HP one damage, but that goes over to Benchmark, who has a minus one. Um, right, so that's what happened there. So instead of the destroying cards thing, that happens. And increased damage dealt to hero targets by one. Sure. All right, so software. Now we can actually do something. Uh, if we play a software, we get cards destroyed. So let's just draw. We don't need shunt energy or really that. Uh, we can use a power, we can certainly increase our damage as many times as we want this turn, because she has no more damage reduction, and we are going to blow her up now. Alright, so flyby. What's my last hardware? Oh yeah, secondary cannon. Discard a card and deal damage. Yeah, that seems awesome. I like overhaul loaded, but having that is just gravy, so. And I guess we can kill the bird too, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what does the bird do? Oh, she just like deals us one damage and we discard a card, right? So that's even better. Yeah, redirect to benchmark, benchmark discards into the missile pod, <laughs> heals, uh, flip more tokens, redirect. Oh yeah, she takes less damage too, right? But so does benchmark, so benchmark can, he's got the heals and she doesn't really. Let's play another card, let's get that last hardware. Move a hardware or software to your hand. Sure, countermeasures. And let's increase our damage again. And let's discard a card to do a damage. It's benchmark time. Uh, so rather than using another power, I'm going to do this. Disc draw two cards, discard two cards. That's better than... This is going into the cannon, right? So uh, we can discard this and this. I could play a software. Oh yeah, I can play. A s yeah, that's true. Do I want to play a software? I'd rather just discard cards. <laughs> uh, the missile pod has nine cards under it and we're doing three damage per i feel okay about that too bad we don't have the biome that's increasing that boom 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 blam 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 i would like to draw a card you may discard a card uh okay I accept. Put a software card from your trash into play. Uh, I guess countermeasures, I don't have one, and I have room for one. And I can do more damage if I do, so. Uh, I don't really care about the keeper. Also, I don't care about that, so yeah. I don't care about any of them. All right, that was a turn. Matriarch is now at 28, and she was basically at full. I think I did 60 damage on that turn. There, thereabouts. No, no, not 60. She's at 
or maybe 40 damage, right? She was at, set, yeah, 68, so 40 damage. And what next? Ideally, we do a win, but I don't think I can do a whole lot. I can do a little damage here. I can cash out for a little healing. Sure. We need to discard a couple, get rid of some tokens. So yeah, the Missile Barrage is 27 damage. Uh, oh, Benchmark, yeah, Benchmark. Love discarding cards, but I ended up clicking on setback, didn't I? No. I did. Okay. Yeah, put it in the pot. Setback and discard a card. He's got whatever. Oh, we went to even. We went to odd hit points. Oh, no. I think we'll make it. Even if she brings out the birds the birds aren't in the, aren't both in the trash now right so uh then oh they are both in the trash so so she can't get them out that's actually better that's what we wanted we just didn't know what we wanted i don't know uh and oh wow she can do a lot of damage <laughs> to benchmark uh i really wish i had a damage increase now Huge and immune can increase my damage, right? But I have to have more of the right kind of tokens. I can definitely flip a lot of tokens. Let's just do the ping damage. I could do this, but I don't want to go all the way to that number of tokens, I think. Um, I'm going to use this and choose two hero decks and choose the harpy and benchmark again unless i might know what benchmark's deck is oh benchmark has no cards so it's set back this shouldn't be a choice i guess maybe you can still choose the deck if you really want it to be one it's a weird edge case oh but also <laughs> also the harpy has no cards but you know what i'll take seven damage let's roll with that Yeah, I'll reshuffle. <laughs> this is how much I'm paying attention now that Benchmark is rolling the game. I don't think the Harpy can do anything. This is a win. Yeah, environment, do whatever you gotta do. Setback helped. Uh, yeah, this is kind of gross, actually. So. Benchmark can soak both of these. And discard a card. But not for setback. Should have done it the other way. It's fine. Harpy's a little more valuable. Yeah, sure. Play your birds. I guess we can choose if another target, if like another domain comes out. We must have discarded, like, setback must have discarded, luckily, the other domain, right? With his fumbling fool because that never came out i'm pretty sure he must have fumbling fooled it which probably swung the game if that other one had come out that might have been it if it was early i think we can choose like her to keep going first and then if the other domain comes out we choose that and then yeah she's healing but it's too late matriarch oh it's dark in the sky Yeah, we'll redirect. Uh, I did get to draw cards at the start of my turn, so yeah. 
Let's flip back to magic, I think, and hit the matriarch. Yeah, we'll redirect. Oh my god, birds, yes. All right, she's 22 health. I did 40 last turn. I have no cards in play, but I can draw cards. Hey, look, a flyby. Let's use a power. Increase our damage. Hey, look, we can discard a card to do more damage. And it's plus one from Taiga Burning Bright. Uh, I could play this or more productively discard it, so. And this. Draw two cards, discard two cards. I guess my base power is similar at that point. Uh, each damage from this is four, so good night, Matriarch. That was quite a bonus game. Probably a bit more than I bargained for. Thank you to whoever suggested Ultimate Matriarch. <laughs> And if you think that's impossible, it's clearly not. Just really tricky and difficult and long. New Dolphin only said ultimate, that's true. I think Epiku maybe said uh, matriarch or someone said matriarch. Uh, it was a good time. And benchmark, yeah. Benchmark obviously was a huge factor. The Harpy helped a lot, but had trouble dealing her own damage and setback, I think provided some key damage. Uh, oh, there was several votes for Matriarch, sure, so. No, no, I'm not blaming anyone. Uh, I just think it's uh, a good game. I'm always up for a challenge. Well, Kusunoki, try this setup and let me know how you do. Ultimate Matriarch, Benchmark, Setback, and the Harpy in the Nexus of the Void. All right. Uh, so that's a double length stream for you all. Thanks for watching. Make sure to, uh, I'm going to go back to the main menu so you can see that cool. Oh yeah. Also, you know, donate to WHO and help fight COVID-19. Uh, make sure to check out Sentinels on iOS and Android for free today, tomorrow, and the next day. Um, and if you already have it, then tell your friends, uh, check it out. Uh, I am John. You can find me at Migrant P. Make sure to check out the rest of our shows on the channel. Uh, it's midnight now, so I'm not going to have a huge outro. Uh, but thanks everyone for watching, um, and we'll see you next time. Black Lives Matter.